Hello. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome back. Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome back to a brand new live stream today here on Cold Day Pizza. You guys doing amazing. I hope you freaking... Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Put a one inside of the chat right now. If you can hear me, if you can see me, if everything is feeling fresh on this magical Monday, the 26th of February. Wow, dude, how are we already in March nearly? It's insane. Like, there's like five days, four days, three days, three days left. This is the 29th of February, so it's March this week. Holy crap, what day? Dude, Friday? Yeah, we got a leap year this year. Very, very odd. Um, once every four, four years, right? Yeah, once every four years. But welcome, everyone. I hope you guys are doing freaking amazing. How are y'all doing on this magical Monday? Let's go, Gorilla Guy. Welcome back. Ultra Squid, big shout out to you as well. Hype Jones, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining us. Need a little bit of caffeine comes out of here. Legend Liam, welcome back to you as well as well. Bricks and Nemo. Welcome back, thank you very much for joining us. Simple, uh, simply Nova. Welcome back to you as well. Good name, Phantom. Welcome back to you as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Man, oh man, I've uh, I have sent off every single one of the posters now. They have all gone. So if you bought one of our uh, Doris posters last week, then they are all gone. They're all sent off, and they're all on the way to you in the mail. So, uh, so yeah, I got, dude, I'm, I'm getting really, really good at sending everything off really fast. Like uh, Friday. After, after, I was really tired after the live stream to be fair, because it was like my first mega live stream back since uh, since vacation, so I was kind of tired, so I didn't do anything that day. Then uh, I I wrote all the addresses, I wrote 100 addresses, and then uh, I then stuck all the labels on and went to the post office. So, yeah, dude, everything's been set up. We're all good. Technically, we do have 10 off right now, uh, 10 left right now, if anyone did want to get one, theoretically. We have 10. Um, but yeah, they have all been sent off. So if you got your Doris poster or Di De yeah, Doris poster last week, then there you go. They've all been sent off right now. Like I said, there's about 10 left that I have right now in a box, but there you go. All gone. But I hope you guys are doing freaking amazing. I see Ares. Woo, my boy, he's got his own freaking emoji inside of the chat. Welcome back to you, Mr. Ares. I made in t-shirt. Hell yeah, dude. It's a trooper logo. It's freaking sick, dude. This is like literally one of my oldest t-shirts now. I feel like I've been wearing this since like, I think I got it in 2018. And I've been wearing it on stream for the past six years. There we go. How was my holiday? It was freaking great. It was freaking great, but it's good to be back, man. I tell you what, the difference in, um, in, in taste of food here is unreal. We're so bland here in the UK, but it's good. Because whenever I'm in the US for more than a couple of weeks, my face starts going like this. And then you get back home and it starts going... Oh, once the salt starts pouring out of your body. Legend Liam, big shout out to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate you a lot. DB as well. Thank you very much for joining us as well. Today, my friends, we have got the Celebrity Map Challenge. We're doing all the Easter eggs of all the celebrity maps. Call of the Dead, Mother of the Dead, uh, Shadows of Evil, and Dead of the Night, which means we get to span across Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4. Obviously, this being Treyarch only, because, uh, you know, we've got a lot of non-Treyarch celebrity maps. I mean, all of IW. All of World War II because they're all celebrity cast, right? So, yeah. So we got these four maps. And this is uh, something. That, this is now my third time attempting this in the in the past three months, but I, I never finished it. And they're like four basically very easy maps for me to do. So I don't know why. Today will be the day where we get to uh, finish this thing and uh, and then go and put our our thing on on here. I guess today's date can go on on here over near the celebrity maps. Right there, right there. That's where the celebrity maps can go. Tricks, thank you very much for the membership renewal right there. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With that one month badge, I freaking love you, dude. Thank you very much. I'm gonna jump straight into Call of the Dead right now. But I hope you guys are having a freaking amazing Monday morning. And uh, if I can make that Monday morning slightly better for you by playing some zombies today. And then I'm all for it, my friends. Thank you very much for being here. I freaking love y'all. Did anyone have a great weekend? I'm assuming all the Liverpool supporters had a great weekend. And, uh, obviously, I am not a Liverpool supporter. But I am a Manchester City supporter. And we luckily won, because my God, it was rough. Final 20 minutes against Bournemouth was... Oh, I was, uh, squeaky bum time, my friend. I was worried. I was very, very worried. But, um... I watched a lot of football this weekend, but yeah, it was a good bad. It was a good. Aries, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Cosmo, big shout out to you as well. Pizza is living on the rage's edge today with that dope shirt. Dude, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you appreciating my good attire. It's it is probably one of like the uh it, it's it's one of the worst good t-shirts that I have. <laughs> Do you know like just a t-shirt that makes you look a little a little bit scruffy scruff. 
but also a t-shirt that I freaking love to wear because I love Iron Maiden, so, you know, it's a good, it's a good deal. Good deal, I like it. Holy crap, man, Bailey! Gifted a membership right there as well. Thank you very much, Bailey, for the gifted membership. I appreciate you alive. You got that gifted membership from Bailey. Make sure you say thank you inside of the chat. Uh, is that right at the back of the map? Dude, I am gonna reset. <laughs> I am not gonna go all the way over to that. I had no idea that was our mystery box location. I will reset until we get a nice mystery box location. I am not playing Call of the Dead. I'm going all the way to the back of the map. Yeah, no way, Jose. That is the worst mystery box location on any map ever. Any map ever, that is by far the worst mystery box. That is pretty bad as well on top of the lighthouse. I don't like that either. But if we can just get one good reset right here. Yeah, terrible one again right at the top of the lighthouse. Theoretically, you just want right at the top of these stairs. That's the best location. But I'll also take the power. So and the amount of resets that we'll do here just to be able to get that, it's all good with me. Ah, there you go. Power switch is all good with me, my friends. Let's just do this real quick. CG underscore FOB90. Boom, there we go. And let's read out the rest of these membership renewals. Thank you very much. Kai and Zaddy with a 27-month membership renewal as well. Say, hey, Pizza, how are you? And how do you think they're going to reveal Gulf War or MWZ? Uh, do I think they're going to reveal it in Warzone or MWZ? I think they'll do neither. Uh, I, I don't know. They might reveal it on something like that, but I would assume they'll do neither of those options. Um, and I think that... Oh, dude, there's definitely gonna be, like, some mad community thing, like, with Cold War. I thought the Cold War one was odd. I thought it was really, really odd. I like the fact that they can reveal the game over a week throughout the whole community. I did not like it that it was kind of, like, the only way that you could... Like, like, basically, the general public could not join in. It was just up to, like, four YouTubers with those computers for Cold War, and it just... It made no sense to me. I like I, I like it to... It can be revealed by YouTubers all they want, right? That'd be sick. But then, when it's revealed, if they want to do, like, some mass hunt, it needs to be where literally everyone can join in and try and figure stuff out and stuff like that instead of it being locked behind, uh behind certain content creators having access to that. I, I, I think I think that's the way they'll do it again. I think it'll be a massive, massive weekly reveal. Because it's Treyarch, right? They know that they're goated. And and they know, Activision know that we think they're goated as well. So if I had to say a way they're going to do it, it'll be like through a mass week reveal um, of the entire Gulf War game. I don't know if, they, I don't know what they'll do though. Like, I don't know. Cold War was interesting because they could do like a computer thing. It was that era. Gulf War, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, though. But I'm very freaking excited for it. I, I think we need it. I think we're all waiting for it, right? Especially me. I'm very, very excited for it. Codename Live, thank you very much for the six-month membership renewal as well. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you very much. And also, the first donor of the day, the first super chat of the day, should I say, from Cool Donald. Hello, Mr. Cool Donald. Good to see you inside of the chat. Good sir. And you are saying, Pizza, I wanted to tell you that we appreciate you. Well, that is very, very kind. I appreciate you appreciating me. Thank you very, very much. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you guys. I, I think that I think we're on a mutual uh, level of respect here. I think I appreciate you guys the same level as you appreciate me. I think, oh no, I love you all a lot. You're freaking amazing. I, I, say it, I say it a lot of the time, but you are by far the best subscriber group ever. And I know that every corner YouTuber will say that. I get that. Every streamer will say that. But I, I, I genuinely believe it. And I've had a lot of my friends in the streaming community, in the zombies community, in, in, in the world of YouTube tell me that you are the best subscriber base ever, and they are jelly of you guys over their subscriber base. I'll never say who they are, because I don't want to disrespect their fan base, but I've been told that you guys are the best, and I, I agree. I 100% agree. Tricksman's out here right now as well with a five-month membership. Oh, not five-month membership. A five-gifted membership inside of the chat. If you guys did end up getting one, you know the rules, okay? I don't need to tell you by now. We've all got manners here. Say thank you! to tricks if you did end up getting a membership right there and i'd massively 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 appreciate that if you did it inside of the chat mr tricksman to say thank you but thank you very much mr tricksman for the five gifted members you guys are freaking goated 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 telling you best subscriber base ever it's not even close it's by far not even close it's unreal unreal Okay, what I want to know of you guys, okay? What I want to know of you guys. Also, I, f I didn't see your name because I read the chat very, very, very quickly right there. But someone inside of the chat said they were a Chelsea fan. My condolences to you. I think you played very well. 
I think the disallowed goal, I didn't I didn't re-watch it, but when I was watching it live, I don't I don't think it should have been disallowed. And also, I did I did have a um I did have you guys to win Cole Palmer to score. And both teams to score. I had both teams to score. Chelsea to left the trophy and one of the goals to be by Cole Palmer. That did not happen. But my condolences to you. I wish you would have won. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Big shout out to you, my friends. How many hits for the VR11 is the question I was going to ask you guys. How many hits for the VR11? If you guys know this Easter egg, you know that I need the VR11. It's as simple as that. I can do the rest of the Easter egg steps really, really fast, really, really easily. But the VR11 is the thing we need to finish the easter egg and of course that is going to be from the mystery box so the game fully relies on me getting that a good time relies on me getting that so what i want to know of you guys is how many hits until i get that freaking vr 11 you let me know inside of the chat right now we're gonna go and make our way out of here turn the power on and go and make our way over to that mystery box to have the first hits hopefully and see what we get but how many hits are you guys saying one two ten fifteen twenty reset i don't know you tell me you tell me <laughs> there you go. Wild thing world record is done in 20 seconds. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my PB was when I got world record. Dude, it's crazy to think that the world record has gone down so low. I thought my record was beatable, but I thought it'd be difficult. And when I got the world record, I think I got seven minutes and something seconds. Like seven minutes, 20 maybe? I don't know. I can't remember at all. But... Yeah, that was crazy. When that when that finished, I was like, holy crap, man. This is going to take a while for someone to beat. And, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of mental that that, that that got absolutely destroyed. Like, actually destroyed. Great, though. I, lo I love nothing better than seeing sick times get beaten by the community and just keep on getting lower and lower and lower. That's freaking amazing. I don't think I've had a double points yet. I think it's the only drop that I've not had. So as long as we get a good training situation going on right here. Ooh, don't get doubled. Ah, we do. We gotta get that. I'll go and get a revive in a second. And we should be good. My, my boy, Savage. Oh, it's out here with the 115. Becoming top dono of the day. Of course, we're back to cards today. Back up vacation. We're all good. So top dono cards now exist. My boy Savage poked inside of here right now as well with that top dono. So thank you very, very, very much. Don't get double swiped here. Don't get double swiped. I'm making my way to that mystery box. There we go. Now we're looking good. Saying, oh, okay. I'm going to read Savage Pokes in a second. I don't want to die while I'm doing this. There you go. Stuck at work, roofing on my 25th birthday today. You got to have you playing in the background to get me through the day. Just want to say thank you. Hey, thank you and happy birthday. Chat. We got a huge happy birthday inside of the chat right now for Savage Poke. Oh, that is disgusting, dude. <laughs> I could have done with anything except from that. That is, uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hey, that will do. That will do for now. It'll give us a little bit of pointage and uh, hopefully get another hit on the mystery box in a second as well. Savage Poke, happy 25th birthday to you, good sir. I wish I was 25 again. <laughs> I just feel like those years are whittling away, man. I'm 31 years old. What the hell is going on? Oh, I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> but Savage Poke, happy birthday to you, good sir. And enjoy the rest of your day working on a roof. To be fair, man. I bet I, it'll definitely get to the point where you don't care anymore, but... If I, I, I couldn't have actually think of a better place to work than a rooftop. I love being higher than everyone else in terms of, like, if, if I was on a pair of, like, stairs and people were below me, you feel a little bit safer. You know what I mean? I get that you're on a roof and it's a bit risky, but I feel pretty safe on a roof. Anyway, happy birthday to you, good sir, and enjoy your 25th birthday, you freaking legend. VR11! No, 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 no. Fun facts about the, uh, the dragon up on this map. It is the weapon that does the most damage to George Romero. Weird. Weird, right? Yeah, so you can basically kill George Romero really, really quickly if you've got the dragon off. And I think it works better if you pack a punch it potentially as well. But it is a ridiculously powerful weapon. Let's do see this one. One, two, throw. Boom, nice. Yeah, it's the, one of the most ridiculous weapons on the entire game. The dragon off for George Romero. Nothing else. It's not good against zombies, but George Romero. Hey, there you go. One, two, three, throw. Now we'll do. There we go. Right, we've only got two more to go now. Um, we got to keep on hitting the mystery box. Hopefully, get that VR 11, baby! Pigs have the post been shipped. Yes, yes, they have. They have been shipped, and uh, everyone's run the way to them. I feel relieved. Doing a hundred posters um, is a big ordeal, but it's good. I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad I did a hundred. I'm glad I faced that faced that task again because uh, last time we did it. 
it was it was really tough to do and I was like I'm never gonna do it again and I like challenging myself to things that I said I'd never do again and I'm glad I did it and tried it and, and it words out I, it took me it took me just shy of three hours yesterday um, like non-stop kids are in bed non-stop three hours writing all the addresses and, and sticking the labels onto all of the, the hundred posters um, bit of an ordeal but you know, it was fine. I, I put, I sat down on my table in my kitchen and uh, wrote them all out and stuck them all on, and uh, and uh, and watched Austin Powers: Man of Mystery throughout that time. So yeah, no, it was good, man. It was really, really good. Agent X is out here right now as well. We don't want my fun. Saying the assets have been secured. Skunk works. Is fully operational. Skunk. Skunk works. Is fully operational. Agent X, you're scaring me. Ah, baby! Okay, okay, okay. This might be a good day today, brother. This might be a good day. Okay, uh, let's go make our way over here. I gotta get George Merwin's out of the water real quick. Fling me, boy! This guy away me. Look at this man. Right, I'm gonna take him to this water, and then, uh, and then we'll we'll save a couple of zombies at the end of this round, and then we're good. Not the worst time to get that VR 11, dude. So maybe today could be the day where we have a solid run on this thing. We will see. Is there any chance of the scratch off challenge poster? Yeah, so that's something I really wanted to do back in the day. And I do want to do it. Trust me, it's still a thing. It's still absolutely a thing. Um, I will do it. I'm promising you that. That is one piece of merch that I'm promising you that I will do. The problem with it is... What I've committed to doing this, like, one poster a month thing. So it would have to take the place of one of those posters. And I, I don't know which one. So it will 100% happen. I know that next month is most likely going to be a moon release. A moon poster. Um, but apart from that, I am not sure. Okay? But I, it's 100% it's a scratch-off challenge poster. is 100% something I'm going to do. million percent that's going to happen. I just don't know when. But I will I'll keep you up to date with that. I, I, it will happen. I just don't know when. But there you go. How is all the house stuff going? That's a great question, man. Uh, it's been a busy weekend with all that. Uh, so, we went and had a second look at, at, at a property that we liked. And uh, it's it's bad. It's, it's real bad, but it's good. So, basically, it's like a really, really, really sick house that's just been, like, not abandoned. But, well, actually, yeah, kind of abandoned. <laughs> it's a really nice house that basically got abandoned like nine months ago one two three and it's it's pretty disgusting and there's a lot of like a lot wrong with it so we're just trying to make sure we're bargaining with them or bartering with them to get the price to a point where it's so low that we're able to be like right we're gonna have to put this much money into actually fixing the house so it's normal because we're gonna have to like rewire the entire house and replumb the entire house and everything like this it's gonna take like a solid five months of doing everything to it um to get it up to standard but it, it, it's something that I'm up to doing. My, my time frame is just making sure that I have full completion of where I'm living and my office is ready to be utilized and used come the start of October when the brand new Treyarch game releases. That's what I need. I need my office, which will be, you know, external to the house, which is great. Um, and, and as long as that's done first, then I can focus up and uh, and then the rest of the house can get done after that. But as long as I do that. So, it's not going too bad. We had we had someone come and estimate our house today, which is brilliant. It's over the estimation that I thought we were going to get for it, which is brilliant. And, um, and yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But at the minute, we're just... Uh, I'm moving pretty quick with it, but we'll see. Good times, man. Good times. Just wait for this green light. Lost my ammo light. Commando. Dude, I'm actually going to try it with the commando. I'm going to try it with the commando. Oh, nice, dude. Freaking did it with the commando without having to go down. That's freaking sick. Let's go, dude. Let's go, boy. Even with the two inside of the chat right now saying it. Zombies has had its lightning in a bottle moment, but what do you think needs to happen for zombies to become good again? Or is it a lost cause? The next game is the final straw. If the next game that Treyarch makes at the end of this year that comes out, if that is an absolute slapper, then we are in, we're in good form and it's gonna be Zombies is good again and we're all good. If that flops, Zombies is dead in my opinion. That's it, that's done. 
in terms of bringing it back to where it's beat, where it's like sick. You know, a game will always be popular as long as it's already been popular, but in like for replayability. But in terms of having a massive community that wants to play it all the time and stuff like that, uh, then yeah, I think I think it's down to this next game. And as long as this next game does well, then we're all good. If it doesn't do good, then rip me, dude. You know. But I think we're fine. I think we're okay. I think I, in Treyarch we trust, right? And I know that's a crazy thing to say out loud, considering we've had a couple of questionable experiences in the past from uh, from from Activision Zombies. But you know, in Treyarch we trust. I trust them, man. And four years worth of development time, and that's four years of development time where no one's working from home. Everyone's in the studio. Everyone's working together. I went to Treyarch last year to go and see MWZ early, um, and they seemed really ex. Look, I can say. They seemed excited about Modern Warfare Zombies. They seemed happy with what they did with Modern Warfare Zombies, which they should be. What they did and what they put out on that game and what they were pushed to place on Modern Warfare uh, 3 is, is, is great. It's brilliant for what it was, and then they didn't add to it, which is fine. I don't want them to be doing that. In terms of, like, leaving the community hanging with no content, it kind of sucks, but I don't want Treyarch's precious time being spent on something that is not their game and something that's not ever... It was never meant to happen. They were working on this next game that comes out at the end of this year, right? And as long as they maintain all the time they need to make that incredible, I'm happy with that. And it's a four-year dev cycle. We've never seen that before. Black Ops 3 was made in two years, right? Everyone says three, but it's more... Black Ops 3 was basically made in two years. Black Ops 4 was, like, made in, like, two years. Like, everything's kind of done really quickly because there's a lot of scrapped ideas early on. This is the first four-year game. If it flubs, it, that's the end of it. But... It could be incredible, right? So, we work for it. We'll see how it goes, and, um... Yeah, I'm about to be excited. It's gonna be freaking great, but there you go. Next map, let's freaking do this thing, brother. <laughs> I can't believe we've been 14 minutes and 10 seconds. Dude, today might be a day where we get a good time on this. Oh, no. We'll see. Let's go. Let's go make our way over to Black Ops 2 right now. Anyway, we got at Nits inside the house right now as well, dropping a 499 inside of the super chat. Let me load a Pluto name as I'm reading this super chat out. Say, hey, Pizza, not sure if you remember me. I always remember everyone. <laughs> but it's Slothtopia. Whoa, on a new account. You know, I actually remember. I remember calling a guy Sloth. Unless there was two of y'all, I'm assuming that you are Sloth. And I don't remember a Slothtopia, but I remember a Sloth on a new account. Hope all is well. Well, welcome back. It's good to see you. It always worries me when people make new accounts, but you know what? I'm all for it. If you subscribe again, then AO, let's go, dude. New subscriber. Let's do this thing. One more step to a million. Is it going to happen? Probably in the next game. We'll see. But anyway, thank you very much. At Nits. Appreciate you a lot. Good sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go make our way over to Map of the Dead. How are we already on to our next map? I do not know, but I am happy with it. Map 2 of the day. We're kind of speedrunning this, right? I don't know, dude. Um, tricks him inside of the chat right now with a five pound dono saying, when will the official zombies esports white hoodie be back in stock yet? Let's get one, but it is available. The website doesn't exist anymore. The website did the purpose that I needed it to do for the time that it did it, but I, we didn't have the, the structure to maintain it. And we were having to spend a lot of money on the entire thing and you know, I, I rinsed a lot of money doing it, which is a complete waste and I wouldn't do it again. But it did, it did, even though people don't understand, it did what it needed to do originally. It needed to basically keep the community safe from what was going on on the rest of the websites at the time. So I wanted to make a different, uh, a different experience. And therefore, it kind of pushed the unsafe options that people were using at the time to become more safe. And therefore, you guys weren't having your information stolen anymore, which is great. Um, even though my website doesn't exist anymore, the websites that are still being used are now safe places, which is brilliant. So it did a, it did a job, but um, not the job. I, I, when I go all in on something, I need I want to go all in on it, and I just. I let the ball drop because I need to focus on this as well. And like, you know, if, if I only focused on a website, that'd be, it'd be great, right? But I had to maintain YouTube and everything else while doing that. And, you know, it's just too, I had too much eggs in my basket, I guess. Or too much, I had too much going on. And I needed a full crack team behind me to, to help with everything. And I just didn't have that, that kind of support there to be able to maintain stuff. Like I tried to put things in place, but it's it's there just wasn't enough hands on, um, but it did when it needed to be done, which is great. And now you guys don't have your information stolen every time you want to try and 
post a record website. <laughs> it's brilliant. So yeah, I know it's it's good. It's it's made the community a lot safer and and the, the options that were there that are still there are now safe options for y'all, which is freaking great. Um. So, there you go. Also, the best go in Zombies YouTube. Well, thank you, Trixon. Appreciate you all up, my guy. I don't know if that was a legitimate comment or not, but uh, they're never going to be back in stock. <laughs> I'll give you more merch. We'll, we'll figure out some other merch instead, okay? We got this. I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. We got, we got some better merch on the go. Let's go with that. Uh, okay, let's go back going through here real quick, and we'll... Um, and, and I want to go and open up a doorway. I'm going to open up the doorway on the left before we flip this around and make sure we go down while doing this as well, just so we can definitely go and make our way through and do at least something while I have three downs available. So let's down ourselves real quick and go and get some stuff done. I thought there was more than four celebrity maps. You go. You name them, brother. You name them. And um, we've got four celebrity maps on Treyarch Zombies. Theoretically, if you want to go into the depths of despair in our... Well, not depths into the goated section of IW. I mean, every single map has a, a guest star in IW, right? And every single map on World War II technically has guest stars. You got the likes of like David Tennant and stuff on on those. So, uh, oh crap, dude! No, no! One day! No, that sucks. <laughs> I wasn't looking what I was doing. <laughs> right, back to Black Ops 1. That was freaking great. Let's very let's see how long this is gonna take again now. That sucks, dude. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Cold War has celebrity skins. Oh gross. That's one thing we never want to see again. If they if they bring operators back, it's instantly a two-point deduction on a possible 10 out of 10 game, in my opinion. We don't want operators. If anyone out there wants operators, I commend you for being different. Because my god, I want a crew. I wanna learn the story via crew interaction. I want to learn the character via character interaction. I want to learn stuff via the narrative of the characters. I don't want to have operators. It makes the game meaningless. <laughs> Would it be a peace stream without a restart? Hell yeah, dude. We can go again. No big deal. It was a 14 minute run. We're all good. I forgot that when you down yourself, um, you have less time. It's kind of like, oh God, have I just broken the entire thing right now? I forgot that when you down yourself on, on Mother of the Dead, instead of using a, a shock box, you have less time. Have I broken this? My control alt delete is not working. Can I control alt delete sign out? Maybe. Are we gonna do anything? Hopefully that works. Haley, thank you very much for a 19 month membership renewal. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you very much. Let's just let this load up real quick. If you guys haven't done already, please do smash that like button. I appreciate you a lot. Say, let's go, legend. Hope you and the rest of the family are well. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, no, we're doing really, really good. Um, yeah, Nova's currently, like, preparing the house, like, tidying the house, cleaning the house. She's, like, I let you, before I started live streaming, she was mopping the exterior walls of the house. Like, through like a two-story window, cleaning the walls, making sure they're gonna be pretty for the pictures when they come around to take pictures to put my house up for sale. Uh, so yeah, it's quite sad actually. Like it's really weird. Like it's the first house that I ever bought, and it's like I've lived here since 2018, and it is kind of sad that you're moving away. Like it's been six years that I've lived here, and I've had two kids here, and it's kind of sad. But you know, I didn't expect when I moved into this house to have two children and have to. I didn't really take into consideration I'd have two children. I wouldn't be able to work nights while streaming here. I have the perfect setup for myself here. But um, I, I guess moving will be a, a good thing for my future prospects. So there you go. Haley, with that 19 month though, thank you very, very, very much. Let's load up Black Ops 1 again and get this rocking, dude. It took us 14 minutes to it that time. I bet it'll take like an hour now. <laughs> if we don't get the VR 11 first yet, I'm going to be gutted. Reset it, my friends. That was our warm-up game. It's all because we didn't have 100 likes per map. That's what it is. It's because we didn't start. It's because we didn't make our way over to Mob of the Dead with 100 likes. You all know the rules by now. 100 likes per map. Simple as that. 100 likes per map. Also, do you agree with my, my little rant right there? Do you agree with my little rant that we don't want to have operators constantly? Are you in agreement with me here? Or, uh, or, or you, tell, tell me, I will be, 
outstanding. Outstanding. I'll be astonished if there's someone inside of the chat that turns around and goes, no pizza, I love operators. I want operators. I want to spend £20 a week on getting a different character to play as instead of having someone that is genuinely an incredible player straight off the bat and you can learn so much about the game and storyline and the character itself just by listening to how they interact with different characters. I want to know, is there anyone that loves operators? I'm telling there's, there's surely not. The only people I can consider that would enjoy an operator is either a collection person who just wants to collect them all and they have infinite amounts of funds to do so. Or, I just can't understand a world where an operator is better for anyone except from Activision, you know? I would love to see a mixture of both. In a, in a, in a perfect world, the mixture of both for me is that you're able to have that easter egg interaction with the four characters that they set for the map and then if you want after completion you can you can edit them out and put whatever you want in or you would instead of having a different operator you'd be able to customize your playable character in certain ways i don't know but i i feel like they just add so much to the story and in turn add so much for community interaction and theories and everything else via learning about stuff from those characters um I, if they if they made a map and you had to ha play as those four characters until you complete that map, or at least you you play as those four characters if you want that narrative learning experience, and you can turn them out if you want, but those four are the set four that teach you everything you need to know about the map. That would be good in my opinion. Main crew is good. You like operators? We had funny cutscenes last time with characters. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree, but do you want to get rid of the experience of learning about so much? Like, it was funny when you had Samantha Maxis inside of a cutscene where you save Samantha Maxis. Like, that is funny. But is that worth losing everything that we had in, like, Black Ops 1, 2, 3, where we learned so much about the character's story and, and, and past and history and everything possible that could be... I don't know, dude. It's like... There's just so much potential by having characters that you fall in love with and you, you like and you, you know, you get to learn them and feel sorry for them. I've never had a feeling where I feel sad or upset for an operator because they're having to go through something. Imagine, imagine, like, you would never get the experience you had with the Blood of the Dead end cutscene with Rick Toffin dying, where it genuinely is emotional for the player, with operators. Could you imagine if your operator just goes inside of this thing and gives some blood and you're like, huh, oh well, Rambo's dead. I don't give a crap about Rambo, you know what I mean? I don't give a crap about this operator. I, I, I just think it makes everything so legitimately special. It, it, it's brilliant. But yeah, it's like World War II, again, they're very ahead of its time, yeah, in terms of the fact that you have that narrative and then you can switch it out if you want. And, and, and same with World War II is said with the Easter egg situation. I want there to be a, an Easter egg where you get handheld throughout the whole thing, where you get told exactly what to do. But then, so then everyone can play it, everyone can get into it, but then everyone knows that this hardcore version exists. Where all the steps are different. There's extra steps in there. There's a hardcore boss fight. There's loads more. But the main story shouldn't be locked behind this hardcore thing. The main story should be available to everyone and be able to, like, told what to do. A tutorial, basically. And then mega hardcore Easter egg gets placed behind this, this, this hidden thing wall where there's extra slightly extra story detail for those that care about it extra rewards for those that care about it by doing this hardcore quest but the main story should be accessible for everyone no matter what the the difficulty level of that player is does that make sense i don't know i like that operate operates and multiplayer are fine yeah absolutely you don't want to play as just a soldier for your entire time right the game's changed now but for zombies it just doesn't it doesn't make sense it'd be nice to be able to do whatever you want but it should be a crew set that gives you that storyline and teaches you about everything with that select crew with the with the voice up lines. I don't know. But yeah, World War II, the final rag, did everything so perfectly. And we look back on that and realize it now. But at the time, we all just didn't realize it. Even four wonder weapons with four wonder weapon upgrades. Like, there's a lot there done right that we didn't realize at the time, you know? Chapel family coming in right now with that six month membership renewal. Thank you very, 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 very much. I remember sending, uh, I remember writing your address yesterday. I didn't put the Chapel family as the, as the name. I just put Chapel. 
<laughs> I thought it would be weird. Okay, this, this one parcel gets delivered to the entire family. So I just put chapel. But hey, there you go. Thank you very, very much for the six month membership renewal. And also Bailey Holden right there as well. Inside of the chat. What? There we go. We've got kind of looking at. I'm going to read that out in a second. Dropping our next uh, Streamlabs donation right there with a 115. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to read it in a second. One, two, boom. Let's flip this around and I'll read it out. Brother. I got it. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you. Like three zombies left. Hell yeah. Boom, boom. Thank you. Next one. Boom, boom. Thank you. Next one. And finally, we're finishing things off with this dude. Boom, boom. Melee. And let's get out of here. Bailey saying, I think that operators will have only worked for Cold War setting up the story to either, as either, uh, to, to, wait. Setting up the story to play as either Rick Toffin, Weaver, Carver, Gray, Strauss, or Peck going forward. Here's the problem, though. I like the idea of having... It'd be really interesting if they went, right, you've got eight characters that you can that you can play as, right? And instead of having four, you've got eight that will all make sense with the storyline, and you can play as any of them, right? But I just think that... Can they get eight voice actors to do eight sets of ridiculous amounts of lines when Activision have just done Cold War where they realistically didn't do, need to do any voice lines at all. Like, does that not sound crazy? Like, they, they've just done a game where they had to pay no voice actors for zombies, and now, and then the team turn around and go, well, the community doesn't want this, so now we're gonna have to shell a load of money out. That's my only thing that I'm thinking, maybe we won't, we will just be stuck with operators, because they realize they can save a crap ton of money by not getting voice actors in. Especially for some of these maps with Treyarch zombies, like, they're so loved, like, the maps that we're playing today as well. But can you imagine how much money they would have to, like, have given, like, and to be fair, you're going back many, many, many years with Call of the Dead, so, I was going to say, like, Sarah Michelle Gellar, how much you would have to pay Sarah Michelle Gellar for a voice acting, uh, a voice, like, session to record all the lines for a character in this. But you're going back so many years with that. But even if you go, like, with Black Ops 3, like, how much did they, would they have to actually pay for, um, for Jeff Goldblum, like, in, 20, in 2015, 2014, to be able to record those lines? Like, that, that must set them back a lot of money. But now they realize that they can kind of, they don't have to pay that. So, I, it, that's the only thing that I'm thinking maybe we will be stuck with upgrades forever. We'll see, though. We'll see. I hope not. I hope we I hope we get a real crew and it's good, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm very excited, though. It's cool to think that it, October is our release. So, now we're looking at literally March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Seven months. We've got seven more months, right? And then we get a brand new two-year release DLC cycle Treyarch game where we get zombie maps dropped for two full years in seven months like just think about that that is nuts so I hope they're cooking it Treyarch I hope they're making some good stuff and uh it's only seven months away and we're probably gonna have first teasers in two months normally first teasers start May time so uh Dude, I'm freaking hyped, man. It's gonna be freaking great, eh? The clean one coming in right in right now with a 1999. Hello, Mr. Clean One. You are doing good, good, sir. I appreciate you a lot. This is definitely 100% gonna be a, uh, a much, much, much slower game right here. A much slower game. I'm considering getting PhD to got the scavenger. I'm considering it. Just because that weapon will absolutely allow me to finish the Easter egg. And if it, we do have to go in for open to high rounds, that'd be beneficial to us. But I could also just hit the mystery box and try to get the BR-11 instead of spending 2,000 points on PhD. I don't know. We've got enough warmer hit here, so we'll go one more hit, and then we'll see what happens. If we get anything good. Oh, baby! Hell yeah, brother! we got another game going good! Okay, we'll probably have to flip the rounds, to be fair. But we can go and start the main quest up right now. I feel like I should have kept the, uh, the scavenger. Probably should have kept this guy. Hey, I probably should have actually. Looking back at what I just switched out, I probably should have kept it. No big deal. Let's go. I'm glad we got it though. What shoe size do I wear? Good question. Um, depends what country you're in, man, because we all have different sizes. So I'm a US 10. I'm a US 10, a UK 9. Pretty standard. Really annoying actually. For an adult, any resale shoes cost way more. Super annoying. If it's any like there's so I like I go through phases. I just got these new running shoes. I got them while I was in the States just because they're really comfortable. They're just night zooms. And, and, and you can do what they do on the tin, man. They do make you zoom. 
They do be zooming. Um, but I go through phases of wanting certain things. So last year, I really wanted a nice pair of Air Max 95s. I haven't had a new pair of Air Max 95s in a long time. I really wanted a, a, a good pair, a new pair. So I got the the uh, the blue ones, the black with a blue, okay. the black with a blue swoosh, with the blue insides. And I wear those almost every day. But I'm just going through another phase now where I want to relive my youth. So I kind of want a pair of Air Max TNs. Uh, it's been a long time, but the, I, I've, I've like had a good look for which ones that I won. When I was a kid, I used to have the black ones and the black and red ones, and I think I might have got the black and gold ones. But um, I've had a look at which ones I want, and I want the University Blue uh, TNs that dropped in 2022. My God, dude! Because I'm a size nine, like all like all the other sizes are like decent, like they're expensive, but they're, they're still doable. But the size 9 or US 10 in the University Blue TNs, dude, it's like $329 because it's like the universal, like, normal size of shoe. Annoys me a lot. A lot. But okay, there you go. Not the TN. I want to relive it, man. I want to relive it. I want to relive it. One, two, go. Got it? Nice. Yeah, I want to relive the TNs, dude. I have to. I wear 95s a lot, and I've re I, I thought I can't wear 95s again, man. I'm not 12 anymore, but the comfiest balls, man. One, two, three, go. But yeah, no, I, I want a new. I, I want. I want to experience TNZ. It's been too long. It's been way, way, way too long. Good morning, Keeksy. I hope you have a great stream and have a great day. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Oh, I forgot to read out the donos. Okay, let me jump on this real quick. Let me jump on this. Completely forgot to read the donos out. Champion inside of here as well with a 1575. And also the clean one as well with a 19 pound 69. Let me pause this real quick, go full screen. The clean one is out here with that 1969 saying, hey pizza, it's been a while! Hope everything is good. Everything's freaking great right now. It's good. I'm getting a little bit emotional about potentially leaving this house and moving somewhere else, but this is my house, man. This is where I worked hard for this house. <laughs> but technically the new house will be bigger, so you know. Ah, we've moved up in the world, I guess. I uh, hope everything is going good. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out today. A little nervous, but we'll get through it. You will get through it, man. I haven't had my wisdom teeth out, which is really, really strange because I know a lot of people have to do it, but mine have never caused me issues to this day. So hopefully, touch wood, they still don't. But you freaking got this, man. The clean one, thank you very much for being top donor right now as well. I appreciate you. I'm the champion with a 1575 saying good morning, pizza. Hope you have a great stream and have a great day. Got to take kids to school and going golfing. Oh my God, you like living the dream. It's like the perfect day ever. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, we're gonna just take the kids to school, go game of golf. Dude, that's like, you're living like my dream retirement life right there. That's freaking amazing. The champion, keep living the dream, brother. I'm proud of you. Let's go. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> my God, you are, you're genuinely having a freaking great time. I love it. One, two, three, throw. Thank you. One more to go, and then we are done. I will. I've got enough money to have one go on the mystery box. I need a weapon that's powerful enough to, uh, to be fair, I could, I could down myself, I could do the old technique, but it's risky. One, two, three, and throw. Thank you, right, that's all done, so I'll have a quick go on the mystery box, and we'll see. Have a look at TNX, the cold wall. I love TNS, not a fan of Vapor Max, but a cold wall. I don't like Vapors either, man. Vapors are absolutely new school. Vapors are like... Vapors are way new school for me. It's like what the what the what the kids of today, I guess, wore like a few years ago, and I'm not into that. I like to try and relive my youth and like TNs what I what I wore like 17 years ago. So yeah, I would I would very 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 much love to uh, get a new. Pe oh, is that even possible? I mean, I'm down to try it, but we'll see. I'm down to try. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. We got the green light. I don't even have the green light. What the hell did I miss? I'm gonna have a look around the map real quick. See if I can get a crawler. No. Okay, let's run around. I have no idea which one of these I missed. I've not got the green light. I don't even know if I interact with all the things. I definitely meleeed this guy, right? Both of those are gone. Maybe there's one still. Uh, I didn't get this one correctly. I think I can do it with this, yeah. Maybe not from there. Let me run over to the boat. I don't mind wasting a little bit of time right here. It's all good. Have a look at the TNX Cold War. 
uh, Cold Wall. I love TNs and I'm a fan of Vapor Max, but the Cold Wall XTNs are stunning and it's Poke, by the way. Short for Pokemon. Pokey! Pokemon! Pokemon! That's how you get, uh, that's how you get, uh, Charmander and Squirtle onto the bus. Your Pokemon. Oh! Oh, you like that one. That's such an old joke, man. I remember hearing that when I was in, like, primary school. You're talking 20, 20, 25 years ago. <laughs> how do you get Squirtle and Pikachu onto a bus? Your Pokemon. Absolute genius. There we go. There we go. I'll give this a go. I am a little bit like, I don't, I don't actually think this is going to work, but we'll see. Uh, would I prefer a new crew? Or the crew of people we already know? Um, I think play, playing as Samantha Maxis would be really sick, but I don't know the narrative they're really going to go with in terms of the gameplay. I, I don't know how they're going to go with it, but I, I would like to be able to have Samantha Max as a playable character and not just as an operator or not just as the way we saw her in Moon. I would much prefer it to be like a real, real, real character. Let's see. I'll have a look at those TNs though and let you know what I think. Um, yeah, I really like the University Blue ones. They're just too expensive on StockX. I put a bid in of like one six. I, they, they, were up, they were up for like two... I don't know what the equivalent... It's like 240 pounds and I'm like, it's too much. I'll put a bid in of 160 as max. Like, I'm not going anywhere near it. If it like, that's far too much in itself, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I doubt I'll get him. <laughs> Maybe if they drop in price. I mean, everything seems to be dropping in price in terms of the shoe game, anyway. Nah, dude, I definitely didn't do it. I'm very certain I didn't damage him enough. If I did, that's insane, but I'm pretty certain I didn't. I'll wait and see if it arrives. If it arrives, I'll be very, 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 very amazed. I definitely didn't do enough there. We could we could take it. I'll just say I don't mind wasting a little bit of extra time on it. It's no big deal. We'll just wait a sec. I'll wait a second here and just chill until uh, I have a zombie left. Because I didn't even really want to flip around there. We're we'll waiting until we've got one zombie left. And then I'll probably down myself to be able to get it done nice and easily, right? There we go. To do with... Oh, crap. I wish I would have freaking used it then, man. If I would have just used it then, I would have been able to get out of here. I'm going to be stuck, aren't I? Dude, I am so screwed. I don't have any weapons. I've got 480 points and I have no downs left. And I'm pretty certain that George Romero is running. Yep. Right, cool. Let's figure this out. I can go down the slide, I guess. But then I am stuck. And I don't have any points to be able to do anything with that. Ah, uh, Okay. Okay, this is not good. This really is not good at all. Woo! Finally beat the darkest shot solo. It took ages. Yeah, dude, it's, it's not good. <laughs> I felt like that as well. It's like, oh my god, thank the lord it's done. It's finally done and I don't need to play it anymore and be... Dude, it's just, it's all, it's so log-based, I'm telling you. It might be one of the most RNG'd maps in terms of, like, non-like mystery, but it's just gameplay. The gameplay is RNG based, which is mental. Like you just need to get really, really freaking lucky at with not dying and making sure you learn the right spots to shoot and everything like that. Right, I should be able to get enough money here to potentially get the AK or have one go on the mystery box. There we go. And then one grenade to hopefully finish these guys off. Right, we got enough for a mystery box here, but I also can't afford any of the doors. This is great. I'm actually stuck. What the hell, man? 1,000 for the door, but I can't kill him once we get in there. Um, well, I can definitely get in the door. I don't have a revive. I'm going to have to do another round, aren't I? But I don't have any money to the... Oh! Okay, okay. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to give it the best thing we've ever attempted here. My god, has that just saved our butts? Has that potentially saved our butts? Are you kidding me? Dude, there's a green light right here! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Why did you not go towards the light, brother? Well, I thought the insta-kill might, might, might help. The insta-kill did not help. This is going to flip around, isn't it? 
вам. There's very, very small potential that I just did it. If not, I'm gonna, shoot, I need to go back to spawn. This is genuinely the most ridiculous game of Call of Duty I've ever had. Straight over to spawn, wait until we can get a freaking revive, and then we're good. No, I'm dead. Thank me, dude, I'm not having another Call of the Dead day! Woo! Don't want a day on Call of the Dead, this is all not real. Perfect RNG, nothing going up. Uh, the dead monkey inside of him. Dead monkey, man. Monkey's a legend, man. Why are you killing monkey? Monkey used to be one of my favorite Pokemons. He was freaking great. Is Pokemon's the right word? I don't know. Anyway, Game of Freak, thank you very much for the 24 month membership renewal as well. Saying two years, can't believe it. Enjoy the new badge, brother. You got two more to go. 36, 48, but the 24 month, that's incredible. Can you see any other 24s inside of the chat? No. No. You cannot. Because they're freaking rare, man. And you are a legend. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also got my guy Trixum inside of the chat right now as well saying, have I ever considered hosting zombie tournaments for the zombies community? If not, would you if you got other zombie creators to collab? Absolutely, I will do it. 100%. And I'm waiting for a specific moment. It is going to happen, but I'm waiting until I'm able to live stream at night times, which really isn't that far off because... Let's face it, if we do buy this new house, like the goal is obviously to get the new house and then I can live stream at night times. That's the whole reason why I'm doing it. I can live stream more often. I'm not set to just live streaming in the day anymore. Obviously with the new game, I want to work as much as possible and, uh, you know, try and put as much effort in so I can grow more and stuff like that throughout the next game. So, working at night is the reason I'm getting a new house, but I will have to, if I sell this house, work somewhere else until I, um until I'm able to move into that other house. So I will have to go back to my haunted office. <sighs> so expect nighttime live streams to probably start within the next couple of months. I would like, definitely. I will be doing nighttime live streams by May. I can guarantee you that. Let's, what are we in now? We're about to go into March, March, April, yeah. Nighttime live streams will most likely already be happening or they will start around May time. And I'm excited about them. I'm excited about the prospects of nighttime live streams. I'm not excited about going back to my haunted office. That thing sucks. <sighs> but hopefully you guys keep me uh, keep me company while I'm there, right? Shaq is hard. Thank you very much for the follow over on Twitch as well. I appreciate you a lot. And Dead Monkey, thank, uh, Dead Monkey, thank you very much for the follow over on Twitch as well. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For anyone that wanted one of the Doris posters and couldn't get one, we do technically have 10 available. They are, you can still get one theoretically. I didn't want to do it, but I had such a nice, easy um, time doing all the labels and shipping them off that... Um, I was expecting it to be really, really bad with 100, but it only took me like three hours. So we do have 10 available. If you want to get one, you can get one. The Doris poses, I have 10 left. But that, that once we've done 10, I'm not reprinting anymore, and that's it. That, it's literally it. There's 10 available out of the ones that we did the other day, and if you want one, you can get one. Feel free. Feel free to get one. But uh, like I said, um, once they're gone, they, they're, they're gone. I'm not doing it anymore, but I, I've got 10. So if you want one, feel free. Feel free. Easy. Okay, I need I need I need good RNG again. Dude, we've had good RNG for the past two games of Call of the Dead. I was just really, really unlucky with the weapons that I had there. The sad thing is, man, the sad thing is I switched out this scavenger, which would have been perfect for that. For, for I ended up with a, a crossbow that couldn't do the job that I needed to do. Kind of sad, but we're gonna get a better time anyway. Our best time today on this is 14 minutes, not great, but also not bad. I'll take it for for a super run. 14 minutes is actually very respectful and probably mean a lot of resets going forward whenever we do this again. Final zombie, where you at? Also, Manchester Derby next Sunday. For any fans of uh, football out there or any uh, Mancunians that either support the blue side of Manchester like you should or the red side, evil side of Manchester. Uh, not even in Manchester, are they? They're, they're mainly London based. But um, <laughs> I digress. Salford based. Uh, but but what? how do you think it'll turn out? I, I'm, I'm only I'm only done, so you know how I'd be. But um, how do you think it'll turn out? I think I think if both teams play like they played at the weekend, it'll be very interesting because we both played terrible. I watched the United game on Saturday, and they played terrible. 
and we played on uh, we played on Saturday night, and uh, we played terrible as well. We were very lucky to get the three points from that game. It could have easily been a one point up or a no point. Bournemouth played freaking great in the final 20 minutes, and we were very, very, very lucky. But if both teams play like that, we're screwed. <laughs> we're not screwed, but it'll be interesting if both teams play like that. If both teams play like they normally play, United are getting absolutely battered. But, uh, yeah, if we play like the weekend, my god, it's anyone's guess who's going to win. It'll be boring because we both play terrible at the weekend. But there you go. VR 11 and 8 hits. I'm down. I'm down. Let's go now. Let's go make our way there now. Now, no, no. three left. Okay. Three left is fine. There you go. Whoop, melee. Hell yeah, dude. I, I think I actually have one more left right there. We've got three left now. We've got three left now. That's even more points. Now, two. Okay, two's good. Two's good. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Woo, baby. Let's go, go, go. Haunted Office. Well, so you're a famous, uh, famous movie song. Busting makes me feel good. Jesus, are you talking about Ghostbusters? Is that the lyrics from Ghostbusters? They actually say, Busting makes me feel good. Jesus, what were they thinking? I mean, it was the, it was the 80s, right? They, they weren't thinking. <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. I don't know if that would be a, a song that released in the year 2024. <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, a haunted office, man. It is um, questionable. You experienced the haunted office with me for a few months last year, chat. And if you were there, you understand how bad it was. It was like every two seconds, I was like, wait, do you all hear that? It's not good. But with that being said, if it means I can move into a house where I can work from my house at night times, then so be it. We'll make it work. We'll make it work for a few months and live in a haunted office. <laughs> Say we'll be playing at Sunday League when the charges come to them. Are you actually serious? You genuinely believe it? I love I love all these teams that are like, oh, terrified of City. City make the Premier League boring. Yeah, it's not like United used to do that in the late 90s, early 2000s, is it? But uh, I love that people actually are believing these charges. If you um, if you yeah, it's it's funny. One, two, three. Yeah, it's brilliant, man. I, I love seeing other people react to like in, in like all having this incredible hope that City get charged. One, two, three. When none of us are worried at all. We've not been worried from the start, and there's been a ton of reports. One sec. One, two, three, go. There was a ton of reports last week that came out to like certain like city fans and um, a few like real like insider groups that you know I, I follow a lot of these like real like insider people and um, one of the reports was basically just saying that everything's been cleared they're just waiting to release the cleared statement and um, and the news that it was cleared has come from the internal side of uh, United like, there was two United people that have like leaked it that they got told and yeah so I'm excited. I love it. I, lo I love it though. It's freaking great. <laughs> but the great thing is that people people think that we care if that did happen. I think that's why we all find it funny. We wouldn't give a crap. It'd be brilliant. Dude, can you imagine? We've, I've literally in my ear and we played in League One. Brilliant. I, at the time, it wasn't even it theoretically called that, right? I mean, what? Yeah. But we played in lower leagues in my lifetime, and it's, it was great. And I think that, yeah, you have plastic fans, but I think realistically we don't want to have plastic fans the same as... I don't know if United fans want plastic fans, but 90%, well, not 90%, but a huge portion of people that are United fans today were plastic fans and then stuck with the club. But I think that, um... I think we don't want them. I don't know if I don't know if United fans in the 90s wanted the plastic fans or not. I have no idea, but we don't we don't want them. We're very happy with where we are, and uh, we're very happy with with everything. So ah, it's great, man. I love it. I love seeing all of the uh, the banter. It's not even banter because these oh, the, oh, the rival fans genuinely believe <laughs> they believe that all this stuff's gonna happen. It's brilliant. Um. But yeah, it's great. <laughs> I can't, I'm, not, I'm on the third reset right here. We've had the VR11 twice. Finished it once in 14 minutes. Got over to Mobber then died on round one. Can you imagine? 
not cool about it. Alright, let me go and get these done. Let me get these lights done. I had to flip the rounds so and get some grenades. And we also still need to hit the box and get the VR11 anyway, so it's really no big deal. <laughs> down, down. Brown, brown. Let's go. Are you ready for this? Let's go. One, two, three, throw. Dude, what is going on with this? One, two, three, throw. There you go. That's done. Got two more to go, so I probably have to flip them around again, I guess. Your delivery driver delivered food to a Liverpool spot yesterday night who said they were celebrating. You're a Man United fan, so imagine my face. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's, uh, it is what it is, man. I, I, I remember seeing a... Um, I watched something the other day, and it was like a Liverpool fan, saying basically that when City won the league, um, you know, for the first time, well, not for the first time, we technically won in the 60s, didn't we? But the Premier League for the first time. Um, that they they were celebrating just because they hated United so much in that era that they had a whole night celebrating <laughs> someone else's victory. I've never celebrated someone else's victory. To be fair, no, I'm lying, actually. I think I celebrated. I can't remember what it was. It, it, it was in the Champions League, like, two years ago, I think. Three years ago, maybe? I, I think it was... I think it was... I don't know who Liverpool were playing, but you were playing someone. And I remember celebrating the, um... Uh, the rival goal. I can't remember, but I watched it. I remember being really excited, thinking, thinking of the prospects that we didn't have to play you. Dangerous team at the time, man. Even now. Like, it's, it's anyone's guess who's gonna win this Premier League, man. It's too close. It's great. It's really insane. But as a fan, it's freaking worrying. <laughs> it's really worrying. United win it when? Sunday? Jesus. Okay. Delusion is set in chat. I, I, I love how deluded United fans are. The most deluded fans ever. I love it. You should, you should definitely... You, like, there's nothing wrong with sporting your club and being like, Yeah, dude. You got this. But I've never I've never seen United fans... You, any, any of the fans be more deluded than United fans. My father-in-law is a United fan, and I'm like, I'm trying to like give him slight praise now and again, just like, oh, this, this play is good, this play is good, he has real talent. And I'm like, dude, I, I can't remember who I was talking about, it might, I might have been talking about Garnacho. I was like, dude, Garnacho is pretty good, man, like, you could genuinely see him like, move into like a Real Madrid in like a couple of years if he's really good, and he's like, you won. He's, you could see him being a Man United player, that's the, that's the best club in the world. I'm like, dude, what the hell? I'm holding him back. <laughs> right now, anyway, things change and it will all, uh, everything always flips. And it will flip again, which is scary to think, but luckily we've had a massive rain over the past few years, which is brilliant. Dude, all I, let me, let me get out of here. Let me go down to freaking spot. I'm, I'm letting these rounds flip too quick now. I need to save a freaking zombie and get all this sorted. <clears throat> Revive left? I do, right? This has to be the final revive. Just woke up. Let's go, dude! Any more sign poses? Yeah, we've got 10 left. There's 10 left. If you want one, you can get one. I said we weren't going to release the ones that we did on, uh, that we finished on Friday when we had 10 left. But you can get one if you want. Still, is £20 free worldwide shipping. Dollars is twenty six dollars or twenty four euros, and it's free worldwide shipping. So if you want one, you can still get one. There's ten available. I'm not promoting any though, just because it's annoying to do poses during live streams while I'm trying to play games. But if you do want one, you can get one. We got ten available, ten left right now. The signed Durys poses, you can still get them. I think I've got two of the orbs to go and get over to the side of the map, and I still need the VR11. So let's move this box maybe and see if we can get fire cells inside of here soon as well. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's my problem, man. I read chat too much. I'm like, I'm trying to read chat because y'all are like chatting good stuff today. I'm loving it. Right, we definitely got no revives left, so I need to be a little bit, a little bit more careful and not read chat, was it? Good. 
Right, so let's go and get the final two orbs, and then it's all a game of just getting the VR11 and then we're all done. When did I send them out? I sent them all out yesterday. If there's two that have the NA Bailey, then make sure that you um just just uh just send me those two separately via via just a DM. Just because I've done them all, I've done everything. Yeah, top link, good sir, top link. I, I signed them all last night. One, two. Oh, not signed them all. I, I, I shipped them all this morning and uh, and did all the addresses last night and I finished like midnight. I don't know when your day is, but yeah. Okay, mystery box time, baby. One, two. Did I do that? No. Okay, all done. We'll go and hit the mystery box. Got two hits to potentially get the VR11 if we get it. Cool. If we don't, mm, annoying, but whatever. Hello. I blew up all the Where are we? Hey, nice, dude. VR11 time. If we get it, golden. Golden. Who do I think is winning the Premier League? Oh, dude, it's anyone's guess, to be fair. Like, every, every, both teams are playing great. Um, dude, I don't know. I don't know all the, all the three teams. I, I, it's it's anyone's guess. It's a three horse race, man. I think it'll go down to the last day. It, the 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 first major game, in my opinion, that will not conclude the league, but be a huge huge turning point in what could happen, is is the City Liverpool game. If we rock up to Anfield and win, or if we rock up to Anfield and get a draw. Dude, I, it's genuinely insane. Like, we need to rock up to Anfield to get a, get a win, basically. But here's the thing. I think Liverpool need to play City. Arsenal need to play City. So we, we have to play both Liverpool and Arsenal. And Arsenal and Liverpool have already both played each other twice, right? I think. I think I think that's it. It's it. Dude, it's anyone. Here's the problem, though. Arsenal banging goals in. Racking them up. So the goal difference is very much in Arsenal's favour if it does come down to that. It's, it's anyone's guess, man. It depends who dips off near the end and what other people have to concentrate on. Depends if Arsenal are still in the Champions League. Depends if we're still in the Champions League. Uh, it depends if, if Liverpool want to... Because Liverpool have already got injuries. If they want to focus on the Europa League or focus on the Premier League, there, there's so many factors to it. I don't see them doing both. They, they need to really pick one. I think they'll probably... I don't know which one they'll pick. The Europa League would be pretty insane to win for a club's final title, but so would the Premier League. So, I don't know. It, uh, dude, it's anyone's guess. It's going to be really freaking close. Brilliant, brilliant finale to the Premier League season this year. Um, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I'm nervous about it, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's go. I do not want to end the round. I want to go and hit the box and hopefully get the VR11 real quick. I am from Manchester, yeah. Kaboom. I am from Manchester. J-Mac, thank you very much for getting the post. We've got nine left. J-Mac, make sure you send your information to Mr. Bailey inside of the chat right now. Don't send it inside of the chat, obviously, but NukeMaster7125. Hit him up on Discord, Instagram, or Twitter. Get your shipping address over to him, and I'll get that shipped out to you ASAP, my friend. Thank you very, 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 very much, dude. Appreciate you a lot. No VR11. Dude, I, this is definitely one of those games where it's going to take a lot longer than we expected. Let's go. VR11. VR11. And then we'll go and uh, train down there again. I think we'll probably get a fire cell this round as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I mean, if I keep that, it does guarantee that if we do get a VR11, I will be able to finish this, the Easter egg and kill the guy because uh, I'll just use a scavenger to kill him. But it's also risky as balls because I don't have Jug or Revive, so we'll see. I think a Fire Cell will happen. Unless there's like one zombie left, though, Fire Cell in this area is so freaking difficult. You just never get the opportunity to do anything with it. If you guys haven't done already, please do smash that like button. 131 likes right now. I'm telling you, we died on Mother the Dead right at the start on round one because we didn't have 100 likes. Now, you guys have crushed it. 100 likes per map is happening. You guys are killing it. And I'm going to finish this freaking map for you all right now as well. 
I just need the VR a little more. Like two hits, uh, two, two moves in the box now. Nice. Yeah, it's points. It's good. I was kind of hoping for a fire cell, though. I'm going to save a zombie here, I guess. Oh, there it is. I knew it was happening. I knew it was happening. How many hits are we going to get on this thing before, uh, before it moves? If we can get the VR 11 now, we're finished with the Easter egg. And it would mean that I can get PhD as well. That is not the VR 11. <laughs> it's the furthest thing away from the VR 11 possible. Come on, VR 11. Come on, VR 11. RPK, brilliant weapon. Not the VR 11, though. Final hit on this thing, VR 11. Nope, okay, mystery box, let's go. <sighs> A million subscribers, and it is either not gonna happen, or it'll happen during Gulf War. Yeah, Liam, not long till Pendulum, man, we're close. We're close. Is it March 23rd or something like that? No, it's pretty close, man, I'm excited. It'll be great, really, really good. Come on, VR, beloved, this is unreal. This box is totally gonna move in a second. 19 minutes in, and yet no VR 11. Still no VR 11, and that means if I keep hitting the box, no PhD either. Ooh, okay. That's well. 24, all right, nice. Tight, very, very hard. I mean, good. Nope. And one headshot. So get the money for and let go on the box. Here we go. I bet the box moves. Bet the box moves or gives me something I don't want. Ugh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Alright, we carry on, I guess. Nothing I can do apart from carrying on right now. Um, I don't know. Let's go. Terrible game one, dude. 20 minutes on Call of the Dead. Not good. Not good at all. You better see me there at the gig. Dude, you're going to have to look for me. I don't know how you're going to find me. I told you, I'm sat down. I'm an old man now. I have a seat. I can't, I can't rave anymore. I probably could rave. But I'm an old man, dude. I need a, I need to, I need a seat to watch. It'd be nice. <laughs> I look for you going mental on the floor, brother. <laughs> I'm excited about Pokemon Day tomorrow. Is it Pokemon Day tomorrow? And what does Pokemon Day uh, entail? What does that mean? What do I have to do for Pokemon Day? I didn't know. February 27th. That's Pokemon Day. Why? I actually watched Pokemon uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back the other day with my kid, uh, Baby Pizza, and he freaking loved it. And it's so funny, man. I don't know where kids learn stuff from. Like, he's three years old, so he's, he knows it from somewhere. I don't know where, though. I'm watching the movie, and I'm, like, telling him about all the Pokemon. I'm like, there's Mew, and he's like, Mew. I'm like, yeah, Mew. And I'm like, there's Mewtwo, and he goes, Mewtwo? And I'm like, yeah, Mewtwo. And then before I even get the chance to do it, I'm like, oh, there's, and he's like, Pikachu! And I'm like, how the hell do you know this? Who's taught you Pikachu? Like, what is going on? So he's learned Pikachu from somewhere. He's three. He's only just turned three, but yeah, he knows exactly who Pikachu is. What the hell, man? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. And then I was like, Squirtle. He's like, yeah, Squirtle. I have him in my bedroom. I'm like, yeah, you do. I got you a Squirtle. I want it on the fair. You got a little Squirtle in your bedroom. But, uh, but yeah, I knew exactly what your Pikachu was. New games are being released, man. Okay. I've not actually played a new Pokemon game since... I don't know. I think the last one, theoretically, the last Pokemon game that I bought was Pokken Tournament. And that was a load of doo-doo. That was not fun. It was like one of the worst handling fighting games I've played in a long time. Um... Pokemon Blue is goated though. It's an oldie, but it's a goldie. Uh, and then Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium 1. Dude, I'm an old school guy, you know. 
Oh my god, what is going on, dude? No VR 11? No VR 11. And obviously, no freaking pervs. We're still doing this without pervs right now, which is risky as balls. Your kid's almost a better zombie player than you. You say almost. Look, we, we, all, we, all, we all know people exaggerate. Almost? I'm thinking he might actually be better. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, the clean one. Thank you very much for the 25 clean one. Do you want a poster? Did you get a poster the other day? Do you want a poster? I mean, you just paid for a poster. If you want one, let me know and we'll get it shipped out. I've got, uh, I got nine left right now. I'm going to be honest. As a city fan, they make me... Bricks with how they play sometimes. I think City have a chance, but the game versus Liverpool will be decisive. I think that is our decisive game. I know, I, yeah, that is our decisive game. Absolutely. I think, I don't want to say anything out loud like last year because I feel like when I'm on, I say stuff, it taints it. But I, I feel like if Liverpool focus on the league, they have a huge potential of winning. If they if they put the time and effort into your local league instead, th then we are gonna, we, we could very much win the league. There's a there's a team that I'm I'm not saying anything out loud now because if I say it out loud, I'll I'll ruin I'll ruin it. I'll jinx us. But there's a team that also could win the league that I think has got absolutely no chance of winning the league. Does that make sense? Playing great at the minute though, but I just don't I, I never in a million years. Well, in a million years, yeah, but not not this year. I can't see them doing. I just don't see them doing. It. But I, th I think I think it's the size of our game against Liverpool, and then it's our and then it's how Liverpool want to handle. I because they've both got so many injuries, there's no way they're going to be able to maintain both the Premier League and the Europa League. So it comes down to that, in my opinion, and we'll see. But yeah, we played absolutely terribly today. The final 20 minutes made me want to vomit. I was just sat there like, for like 20 minutes, like feeling like crap. And then, look, I, I, I was so happy when the final whistle went on. It's like, Bournemouth were just getting us so badly, man. They were, they, in their fairness, man, they were playing great, but we were playing terribly. No VR 11, yeah, it's really hurting us. I don't know whether we were just reset. I'm around 13. I might try one more fire sale and like a few more box hits. I don't know, when, when am I calling this for a reset and I'm just not gonna get the VR alert? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure when I should call this one. I'm gonna call it there, let's reset, let's go. We still got time, man. We still got time, we're looking good. Let's go, freak to one, let's go! <laughs> Dude, we've been freaking great. Chris, yours has already been sent off, man. You don't you don't need to hear back from Bailey. Bailey will just accept your information and send it to me. He, he, he doesn't message everyone back. But uh, yours has already been... I sent it off this morning. Right, that's in the back of the boat, right? Let me reset until we get a nice uh, mystery box here. Morning, Pizza. Hello, Deceptor. Thank you very much for joining us. Where are we? What's up? No, thank you. Reset. Where are we now? Back of the boat, well thank you. Not even going back there. Not opening those doors. Wasting my time. Reset, what we got? Spawn, perfect, let's go. I think the storm blew up. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. World War II versus IW. IW is miles better than World War II, but World War II has so much you can take away from it in terms of greatness and things that I would like to see inside of Treyarch zombies going forward, including with Gulf War this year. World War II. World War II Zombies has the absolute definitive best Easter egg system that we've ever had in terms of Zombies content. A hardcore Easter egg and a casual Easter egg. The casual Easter egg, everyone everyone and their dog can do it. They follow the instructions. You don't have to be good at Zombies to be able to finish it. You get it done, sorted. All right? Hardcore Easter egg for the hardcore people. Learn a little bit more about the storyline. But the main storyline that everyone wants to know inside of Zombies is literally just locked behind a casual egg that everyone can do, including people with literally... No knowledge of zombies at all. Um, and also, World War II Zombies has the things that we mentioned before. A actual crew that you can learn their dialogue and learn who they are and learn about their whole storyline via their narrative. But also, you can switch them out for operators if you wish. You are not 
you don't have to stick with those crew. It's great playing as a crew, and a crew is absolutely crucial. But to be able to switch out for an operator as well, if you desire, feel free. Best of both worlds, right? World War II is so ahead of its time, and so many things got dropped in that game. So unfortunate that not everyone loved the health system. I did not like the health system on that game with the shield, the armor, the price of armor went up ridiculously. So if you wanted to have Jug, you're basically paying like thousands and thousands per round. It's unreal. But um, but yeah, there was a lot wrong with that game, but in terms of things that were right, my God, I can take so much away from it and hope that they play that inside of Gold War. All right, W on the other hand, Top five map of all time, including every zombies ever with uh, with zombies in space on. Incredible map, best boss fight ever in terms of ever in, with zombies with Mephistopheles. Uh, the closest to a Treyarch style Easter egg that IW ever did in terms of Shaolin Shuffle. Fantastic Easter egg in terms of that boss fight. A little bit, mm, uh, it's weird, but very 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 cool. Very very forward thinking in terms of the boss fight with Attack the Radar. It's a thing way ahead of its time. Not everyone's cup of tea, but way ahead of its time. Like. So cool that there's actually like steps of an Easter egg inside of a boss fight. Fantastic, brilliant. Um, so yeah, you can take a lot away from IW, and I love IW a lot, but I think in terms of what I would like to see get placed inside of the next Gulf War game, dude, yeah, I'll probably take the most from World War II, I think. I reckon, I don't know. I'm hoping that's an insta kill, but I have no idea. Is that a nuke or something? Let's just get the nuke. Let's get a revive. Let's go and turn the power on. I kind, I kind of get you on that. Like the hardcore Easter egg is so similar to the casual that there wasn't much point in doing it. I get that. But also, the casual one's great because everyone can do it, and so therefore it builds up the community and makes a massive community, and like it's really easy to do. So it's brilliant in that respect. But then also you can look at it and go, uh, the hardcore one. You are right. There's not that much difference in it. So therefore, what's the point? But it, it, it's exactly what it is. It's for the hardcore people. I, you could you could change. You could you can make it different. Uh, it, it's because the boss fight was the same as well. I think like there was basically nothing different with the boss fight. To say a hardcore version, you would expect a hardcore boss fight, right? Where it's more difficult and stuff. I think it'd be kind of cool. Like, could you imagine like, let's say like, I don't know, dude. Let's pick a random ass boss fight. Let's pick like. Let's go with like Zetsubo. Everyone knows it's Zetsubo. Boss fight. Not, not, not the best boss fight in the world, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but like, you're inside of that room, there's vines everywhere, right? That's your normal boss fight. Call that the casual one, right? Imagine a hardcore version where you have a hardcore Easter egg on Zetsubo, and then you go inside of that boss fight, and like the entire room is like, like flamed up, and everything's red and vibrant, and like, you know that you're in a hardcore boss fight. All the walls have freaking glass and knives sticking out of it. So if you like walk into a wall, you freaking hurt. Like so much you could do. I don't know, man. But there's a lot that you could take away and, and, and make sure that you realize you're in a hardcore version of that map, a hardcore boss fight. You are right. I think it. I think for me personally, it's the boss fight that, that made me feel like, what's the point? Because you're doing the exact same experience at the end of the map. Ready to fire and forget. But I, I, th I think that's that's the play, in my opinion. Because if they don't do that, you have to realize, here's the problem. The problem that we're living in now, in terms of Activision and Treyarch making these maps, is that they've realized that the amount of money that they can make via casuals is more. So everything will always be easy. So going forward, we're never going to get a difficult thing ever, ever, ever again. The only way we'll get something difficult and up to the standards that we, as hardcore zombie people, want will be is if we accept that and, and we move forward with a casual and a hardcore uh, version of that casual quest. Which I'm all for. I'm, all, I'm happy with that. That'll be freaking great. You know, to have best of both worlds, but let's see. Cross platform and custom maps on console. Custom maps on console is a weird one. I would love to see it happen. It would be incredible. The reason why we've never seen it before is due to copyrighted stuff. So like, like we have like Burger King maps, KFC maps, McDonald's maps on, on PC. Uh, for consoles, they don't have that that material. Um, it'd be instantly copyrighted and it'd be infringing copyright uh, onto Sony and Microsoft and stuff like that. So that's why we don't have custom maps on console. 
But with that being said, we've had other experiences in the past with different games like uh, skateboarding games and uh, like fighting games where you can build your own arenas and stuff like that. But you know, they are theoretically custom maps of that game. And you can have those on console. You can either make them on the console, which I don't think we'll ever see, but people on PC can make them and upload them and therefore they are then on console. But they have to be ticked off and accepted or what's the right word? Um, I don't know what the right word is, but basically gone. Someone from Activision would go through these maps and go, yep, yeah, that's fine, that can go on, and it'd be freaking great. The other side of that is, uh, do you charge for those? Would Microsoft or Activision be up for doing it where a custom map is five pounds a piece, or five dollars a piece? The creator of that map would get 50 cents or whatever, and let's say that, like, some of the best maps have, like, two million downloads, right? That could, that could literally make a map maker a million dollars overnight, not overnight, but, you know, within a year. But, um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be sick, dude. They, they could potentially do that. And I, I think there'd be a lot less downloads if you have to pay for the content. But, you know, if it's a certain price, I don't know, like, cheap, cheap enough to where you go, okay, I will get this. But it has to be accepted. So you really wouldn't have the issue where it's like you're paying for something that's crappy. You'd be paying for something that's genuinely really good. Like, there's custom maps out there that you go, that's incredible, I would have paid for that. Like, that's a really good experience. So we'll see, but that I think that's the way they could do it. But uh, we'll see. Uh, friendly player coming in with a two, saying check out Italian singer Alpha, and tell me it's not undercover code named Pizza. Let's have a look. You saying they look like me? I swear, if I click on this person and they are fat with a receding hairline, I'm gonna kill you. I'm no longer fat, and I'm no longer receding. No, I, I don't see it. They've got, um, I feel like the hair might be slightly similar. I don't see it. This guy's definitely, I don't see it. Nah, I don't see it. This kid, he looks very young, actually. How old is this kid? I feel like I look a lot more aged than this dude. Born 2000. He's actually older than I thought he was. He's 24. I don't see it. I do not see it. I don't see it myself, but hey, fair play. I feel like I'm, I'm a bit more, I'm a bit more weathered than that man. <laughs> it's the nicest way to say that I look like crap. <laughs> right, let's go and hit the box. And let's go and uh, let's go and get rid of these these red things. But hey, thank you very much, friendly player, for the two pound donor, my friend. I appreciate it. You're like, thank you very, very much. Yeah, Fortnite did it very, very well with their custom maps. If we get something similar with zombies, that'd be freaking great. That'd be awesome to have custom maps for console, like the DLCs used to be like $5 to $10. Yeah, I mean, zombie DLCs used to be like $12. $12. I think they were, it to be about $12. 12 pounds 50 or something like that per map. But custom maps, they could easily do it for like $5 per download on, on a console. I, I, and, and the map maker would make money for it. There'd be incentive for map makers to actually create maps. I know, I know that it shouldn't be about that, but you gotta remember, a lot of these maps are so intricate and they take so much time for the map makers to create that they are wasting an insane amount of time in their life to be able to do these things for us to play for like a week, two weeks, and then that's it. And I, I, I 100% get yeah, that it's a hobby, but that'd be great if they could be rewarded monetary-wise, right? Let's face it, some of the custom maps out there, man, they're better than some maps we've been getting legitimately recently, right? Dude, double swiped. Double swiped. Your oldest zombie's friend that looked like me. You call him CMP all the time. Really? Please, again, please. I hate when people say that a lot of people say I look, I, I, it's whenever anyone says, hey, you look like this person, Google, I Google, it's just a fat guy that's receding. Like, I have lost weight now. I'm no longer fat. I also have had a hair transplant, so I feel so bad about myself. So stop giving me the fat receded man compliment. <laughs> Come on, VR11. Come on, VR11. Come on, VR11. I do love the glow. That's not what I want. The one thing is that the glow can work to kill a zombie then. Uh, so can the scavenger though, but I don't want the scavenger. I'm not gonna heal, I'll keep the glow this time. 
he got swapped there, doing this. Rose Gold! Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Pizza Club. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No VR 11. No VR 11. No VR 11. No VR 11. I'm going to say that because it's the fastest weapon in the game. We're going to get these orbs in. Then we're going to freaking flip the round again. Punch inside of here right now as well. Let's freaking go with a 36 month membership. One, two, three, throw. No. One, two, three, throw. Let's go. Thank you very much, Pudge. Saying three whole years, my good sir. Thanks for the laughs and the fun. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you a lot. One, two. That should have really hit, right? One, two. Done? Perfect, let's go. We'll step here and get some kills, but thank you very much. Three years! You've only got one more badge to go. You've hit that 36 month badge as well. One more badge to go, which is the 48 month, then you're completed. You've completed Codename Pizza at that point. We love to see it. I cannot believe at all that I'm still freaking going here. But our first game we did in 14 minutes, and then we would have been done with the day. 14 minutes. On to Call of the Dead. I died round. Uh, we're on to Mother of the Dead, and I died round one. Imagine dying on round one of Mother of the Dead. It couldn't be me. Oh, wait, it was me. Okay. Okay. We got this door to open. Also, that was actually really skillful what I just did. <laughs> that training, having three bullets, getting a headshot, and somehow managing to survive that was really, really freaking great. Please, I was watching one of your old videos the other day, and you look so much healthier and better now. Great job. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. Thanks the world, dude. Thank you so, so much. And I get doubled. After all that effort, I get freaking doubled. Right, this is the final game right now. If we don't do it this time, I'm not doing it. I'm totally lying. I'm totally going to end up doing it anyway, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to trick the game. Trying to trick the game into thinking that I'm definitely not gonna play longer if I don't do it. Punch big shout to you though. Thank you very much for the 36. I appreciate you a lot. And we've still got eight posters left. If anyone wants one, they are still available. You do not have to get one, but if you wanted one and you missed out the opportunity on Friday, you can get it right now. Hopefully, by the time we make our way over to Mother of the Dead, we'll be up to 200 likes. That's the goal. 200 likes for Mob. It was supposed to be 100 likes per map, but it's taken so long to get to this point. If we get 200 by mob, I don't need to worry about trying to hit the next goal while we're playing mob. So we're just good to go. People say that I look like someone they know all the time. It trips me out because I, I few really do. Really? I think some people just look like a lot of people. I don't know what it is. There must be an attribute that matches a lot of people's profiles, or maybe like face shape or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. How much of posters? They were tw they're 20 pound free worldwide shipping, all signed, all numbered. 26 dollars, 24 euros, whatever your currency is in. Um, we got eight left. We, we did a hundred and we sold we, we, we sold nearly a hundred of them, and then they're, they're done. And they are gone forever, which is great, man. They're freaking good. I'm enjoying doing these poster drops every single month, and it was a lot easier doing all the labels last night. My fingers got really tired because I never write anything down. I think it's just this generation. We really don't write stuff. So it took me about three hours last night writing all the labels and printing, putting the labels on. But uh, I watched Austin Powers while I was doing it, and it was well worth it in the end because I got them all out and shipped out nice and easily instead of it taking like a week to do all the labels and get them all sorted. I feel like the process was a bit better this time. I never said I said I'd never do two, I'd never do a hundred again because it was way too hard last time, so we'd stick to like fifty. But hundred was good. I mean, it was it, it could have been easy if it was fifty, obviously, but it wasn't as bad as I remember. Okay, just waiting for that VR11. We've now had three games in a row where we've not got the VR11. So this is now the time we easily get it, right? There you go. 
You think it's cheekbones, jawline, eye shape? Probably, yeah. Most likely. You didn't play much Black Ops 1, is there a reason you don't headshot with a starting pistol instead of body shots? I mean, you don't headshot on any, any, on any game, right? You, for, for World of War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3, you go for body shots and then melees to maximize points. Round 1 is six body shots and a melee on all of those games. Six body shots and a melee means that you can leave that zombie with uh, every zombie like 200 plus points. That's why Black Ops 1 zombies, you just maximize some points, especially while you're trying to do a lot of stuff on earlier rounds. And then with BO4, they changed the point system, so Black Ops 4 and Cold War, then it doesn't matter how you kill the zombie realistically, in some ways, you know, there's, there's a couple of points here and there, but not much. So you can basically kill them any way you want and still get in this, basically the same amount of points. I think with Black Ops 4, there's like... You can get a couple of extra points by doing a melee or getting a headshot, but I don't think there's much involved in it. Yeah, let's go. What's my highest round ever? 255. Shadows of Evil maxed it out. That was pretty good. I was happy with that. I think I've been to a higher round, but obviously on the absolute bar for the map in terms of high rounds, uh, which is Shinonuma, World of War. You can get to like round 10,000 or something, is the world record or something like that. And uh, I think we streamed it to like round... What the hell is going on here? Weird. Uh, I can't remember what round I got to on that, but I did do a stream, and I will be playing it this week actually. I'm doing a I'm doing a brand new series on World of War this week and streaming. Really excited! I don't know how many uh, how many streams it's going to take me to do it, but I'm not going to do them all back to back day after day. But we're going to start episode one this week on World of War, where we've got to get to a specific round on World of War on every single month, doing like a high round challenge. So it should be pretty fun, man. I'm actually excited because we never live stream high rounds, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, highest round ever. Yeah, 255 Shadows of Evil. I was pretty, pretty happy with that. I'll go with that. that. I'll say that's my highest. And we did the Easter egg on round 255 as well. Like, literally started the Easter egg on round 255. And even though you couldn't flip higher rounds, you could still technically flip the round in game, even though it wouldn't go to a higher round on the scoreboard. So I was able to uh, flip the rounds for like the Magra kills and the egg fill and stuff like that. So that was really interesting to see the mechanics of Shadows happen like that. And I did the boss fight on 255 as well. And yeah, it was great. Man. Really freaking good. Okay, we've done everything now. Let's get out of here. Let's go and hit the box, dude. Woo! Did I use some round robins? I did. I. Wait. Did I get to round 55 or did you round robin to start to round 55? I used some round robins, yeah. We have to, I think we have to do a few, some, some legit rounds as well. Dude, no VR 11 stings here, man. This is not good. Another insanely fast weapon, we'll go with it. Got the two fastest weapons in the entire game right here. We can just zoom around the map. Oh, I do like it. We'll go yeah, 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 Just for the yeah, points alone. Dude, off. all I want, man, is a freaking VR 11, dude. I'm dead. No, no. Yeah, no, no. Good. We're good. Still no VR. Still no VR. Eleven, dude. What is going on? Come on, man. Give me something usable, brother. This is unreal, man. The RNG started out beautiful today. Now, 
It's very crappy, dude. It's very crappy. Just let me finish Call of the Dead. We're not having a full day on Call of the Dead today. Need VR 11? Hmm. Get it full from now. Bailey! With the Bailey lock! Full from now! The box is going to move like this here. Or within those four hits anyway, but we'll see. Well, that is a beautiful weapon. I'll actually go with that. I don't think I've got any revives left. I think I used all my revives. Oh, go on. Let's go. Let me go and grab that. Let me get a little bit safer up inside of here. I don't... I, dude, I am not risking this. No way. All I've done is flipped rounds here. Got points. I've used all the points. Still got doors to open. I've just stayed next to the box for the entire time. BO3 or BO4 running classics? I, I only run BO4 classics. I, I, I don't mind BO3 classics, but it's... Uh, BO3 Classics, the only map that's actually enjoyable to run with Classics, in my opinion, is is DE. DE is enjoyable for Classics. Everything else is just a bit of a drag. Um, but BO4, every map is totally enjoyable with Classics. So. I actually really... I, I think the complete opposite. So, I like, I think that BO4 with Megas is a drag. I just think it's boring as hell. And that's how I feel about BO3 Classics, apart from DE. I think DE is very fun with Classic Double Guns. You don't need Megas on DE. It's great. But, um... But yeah, every other map is just a little bit of a lull without, without, without Megas. I'm not saying Mega Megas. You don't need to have Mega Megas, but at least some enjoyable Megas make it way, way more enjoyable. But yeah, BO4, though... Just boring with Mega Gobble Guns, dude. It's too easy. Far too easy. You're basically like invincible at times. Well, basically fully invincible altogether if you use Megas on the game. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> no poo top today, Peter. Dude, you lost a full. <laughs> I love how you joined and try and have the argument every day and everyone. Like, dude. I love that every week I have a different insult for you just because you've been playing even worse than you did the week before. You did play Turbo. It's bad It's bad when you say that your best player on the entire squad that day was Harry Maguire. He, he, he played the best out of everyone. And that, that says something. What up, brother? What up, Joseph? Good to see you inside the chat, man. Always a pleasure to see you here, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Come on, man. I need the VR alarm. Give me a point building weapon on a VR 11 and we'll be good. Nope. I'm gonna buy PhD mainly because I do not have another weapon apart from this scavenger and I'm kind of stuck in this room, so. Be easy enough to stay in there. We'll just save his on me and we'll see how it goes. We're good? Hell yeah, we're good. Dude, didn't I just. I'm sure I just fired that. Oh well. Man, we're in another really bad game here. Like, terrible. Terrible, terrible game. What up? Good to see you inside of the chat, my friend. Alright, let's go and do our grenades. Where's the box gone? Box gone to the back of the map? Yeah, I'm resetting them, unfortunately. Another reset. I said that would be the final reset, but I lied. This is now the final reset. CG on this guy, FOB 100 boom. Let's go. This is now the final game. No more resets after this. How do guns feel different to the elixirs? Most of them are the same. That's a great question. I think it's mainly the maps themselves. And also, gun I think it's because guns, you have to go out of your way to get them, so you risk to get them. And elixirs, you don't risk anything to get them. They're kind of instantly there. So it's like you, you constantly have something in your back pocket to protect you. And so therefore, like, you could take four, you've got four with you at all times. But gobble gums, you, you ha if you want to hire around, you have to train up and get to the gum machine. And, you know, for early rounds, it's not, it's not a big deal. But the later rounds you get to, it's like, I think it adds a little bit more difficulty level having to go and make your way over to the gums. And it just, yeah, I don't know, man. That's, that's the way I look at it. 
That's it. Zombie Chronicles runs. I mean, it's 129, man. We're good for now. We're good for now. We're all good. For now. We'll see how we go after this. A few more runs of this. If we don't get the VR11 soon, then yeah, absolutely. We do need it soon, though. It's getting unreal. Where do you download BO1 Plutonium? You just download, you use Google Plutonium, and then when you download the Plutonium EXE, it will have all the games there. So from World at War, BO1, BO2, Modern Warfare 3, everything will be on there, available for you to just instantly get. Um, so you just download the Plutonium EXE, and then it's there. So every single game is available once you uh, once you just download the Plutonium EXE. Fourth hit with VR11, dude. I'm down with it. I would take that. That's freaking unreal. Fourth hit, man. That's freaking great. And it's next to stamina up as well, which is forcing me to open the map and do the main quest first before I actually go and even hit the box. Oh, yeah, let's go, dude. Do one more round here, and then we'll go and open everything up and be good to go. What time is it for me? 1.31 p.m. And I'll be finishing. I always finish before, like, 5, half 5 on a weekday, so. It's a lot of time, man. It's about, like, three and a half hours minimum. Minimum. That's way more than enough time for all the maps that we have today. They're really relatively quick maps. So what we, I don't think we've had double points here, right? So it's a high round to get a double points, man, because you can't really utilize it. You just need to go and get kills with this thing instead of going for melees. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is risky. Nice. GG's. Okay. We're going to do the entire Easter egg right now, minus the VR11 final hit. Final uh, bit, and then we'll hit the, hit the mystery box. So. Let's open this doorway up and get this rocking. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. And let's dip. Don't get doubled. Thank you very much. Get rid of you. Thank you very much. Get rid of you. And you. There's nice, that double that I cannot take advantage of, so we'll just leave it and let's get out of here. Woo, baby! Watching on two devices. Well, thank you very much for giving me double the money, man. It might only be uh, less than a penny, but hey, all adds up, man. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> so much, dude. Okay. Fin, fin. Hopefully I've not messed it up. Sometimes it can glitch because you accidentally did it too many times. Okay. There's one. Let's get out of here. Let's go back down. Let's go and get this. Call it a reset stream. It's what it feels like right now, brother. I didn't want it to be, but hey. We're still here, I guess. Until I get a VR11 anyway, which I'm hopeful is going to be this game right here. Right, let's go and get all our things done. We've only got enough to open the doors up, so I will have to flip around anyway, so realistically, there's no harm in doing that now. Foggy. <laughs> Just because we only have enough money for that anyway. Woo, baby! So, we win? One, two, go. Thank you. Next one. Careful, man. I barely got any bullets in. One, two, three, throw. Thank you. Go. So I'm getting the little slinger real quick. Perfect. Done that actually really well. Okay, over the side we go, dude. 
I've already got 170 points, so I've got yeah, 17 bullets. One, two, three, go. Thank you. Right, that's done. I'm gonna get one more orb to get. We can do whatever, as long as I can somehow. We get some dollar bills here. If we get an insta kill, that would actually save the day, dude. An insta kill right now would be freaking great. If not, I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do, and hopefully, dude, I already know this game so well. I know the first hit of this mystery box is gonna be something that I can't get points with. Something really crappy along the lines of like an RPG or a crossbow, or even just give me the VR11 first hit, which I can't actually do anything with. So I don't have enough money to get anything to be able to have a secondary weapon. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. And there we go. Let's see what we get. Hit number one. And great, we get down. Let's hope that I can get up before that disappears. The chances are very, very slim. Can I grab it? Is that is that it? We lost it? Great, at least I managed to get that. Come on, man. Come on, dude. I'm not I'm not I'm not failing again here. There's no way. There's no way. No way in heck, man. Let's go for headshots. Clean, clean headshots. Nuke. It would be a pleasure. Would it be a pleasure? Should I grab that? We would have to do another round. I grabbed it. But the chance of getting the VR element is so slim. Alright, screw it. Let's go. Go on, give me something good. Give me something good, brother! Give me something good! It will do. It will do. It ain't no VR 11 though. We're still looking for it. Let me get this final one done. One, two, three, and throw. And that's all done. So the green can come out. I'm gonna go and get a revive real quick just so I feel a little bit safer. And then after that, and uh, yeah, we need to get the VR 11. How was my two week break? Oh my God, it was great. It was fantastic. It's fantastic to be back though. And just like streaming and having fun and back to the old grind in terms of content and uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Really good to be back. But I needed a bit of sun, you know? It's like, yeah, it gets so depressing being in England for like the whole of like that, that Christmas. Dude, like Christmas is great, but the whole weather is so miserable and wet and cold that it just gets to the point where you're just like, my God, I could do with some sun. And the moment I felt like some sun on my skin, I'm like, oh God, that's good. And then having two weeks of that, oh, I felt amazing. Now being back in the miserable cold, I can I can I can deal with it. So I've just got back, but it feels terrible. <laughs> it's just awful weather. Like, why do we put up with this crap? Like, what is going on? How are we all happy to live here? I don't know. Really makes you it, it makes me wish that we would have been born into a little bit of a warmer climate. Just slightly. Even even by like five degrees or something. It's just always miserable here. Like, we have, like, three days in summer where you go, Oh my god, it's sick! It's so hot! It's incredible! And then straight back to rain again. Right, box time, baby. Box time, baby. Box time, baby. I hope you enjoyed some dispensary treats. I did not. There was a moment that I thought I did, though. But I didn't. I was, I was in a bar and I was drinking a, um, a lager called gummy bear my, and my, I was like I was on like my third one and my and my step my, my father-in-law was like have um have we even considered the fact that you are drinking gummy bear lager and this could be some kind of like weed products and I'm like didn't really think about that and now I'm questioning that so he asked the bar guy and he's like oh no, no, no don't worry he's like don't worry we, weed's, weed's not legal in, in, in Orlando yet or Florida yet Technically, it's medicinal, medicinal is, but normal, no, normal weed is not. So you're good. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> would have been so gone, man. Three, three pints. I would have been like, whoa. But uh, luckily, it wasn't. So good, good times. But uh, yeah, I did have a little bit of a scare, thinking they were potentially about to have a whitey. I wonder if you can whitey on medicinal alcohol. That would be weird. Can you whitey on medicinal alcohol? But I felt like I was gonna. 
Where was the destination? I went to I went to Orlando just for two weeks with the kids. It was freaking brilliant. It was freaking amazing. It was great. Just a little bit of sunshine, man. Needed it. Okay, we're still going for that BR11. Still going for the BR11, believe it or not. BR11 is still needed, and that is not a BR11. We are on the final step of the Easter egg right now. As soon as the BR11 comes out, we are done. As soon as it comes out, we're good. Bum, bum. First time you ever drink a mix is not good. Yeah, that's why I was saying like, I wonder if you can like whitey on it, on like if 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 the alcohol was like actually like if the beer was infused, would that be the exact same as like when you mix normally? I don't know. Dude, no VR11 is blowing my mind right now. This is really mental. The amount of hits across like the span of like three, three, four resets now and getting nothing. You get down here, dude. I just want you out of the way a little bit. You can just get down here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Thank you very much for 204 likes, Chai. I appreciate you a lot. Come on, VR11. I might risk this a little bit and just go and make our way down and try and flip the box even with George Romero being there on the start of ground new round just so we can potentially move the box and get fire sales to potentially get the VR11 a little bit easier. VR11. Dude, this is unreal. It's just like it doesn't exist. It's like it doesn't, oh my God. It's like it doesn't exist in the map anymore. The double is insane, and I do want it really badly. I want to be able to use pistols on it as well. I want to utilize this, but I wanted to be able to get in here, and then I can do this. Nice, there we go. We can utilize it, thank God. The training skills had to be real to be able to do that as well. Okay, let's go. Are they finals? They look like finals. All right, there we go. Now we're good. Unreal. Still nothing. No good. No good. No, okay. Next one. Let's go. Did I find a favorite drink in the US? Uh, I kind of stuck to the standard time-tested stuff, like... For non-alcoholic, I just stuck to the exact same stuff I would normally have. Like, I'd have the, like, the zero, the zero sugar, like, I think it's, like, zero calorie, I don't know. Like, the, um, the sugar-free, like, Powerades, Gatorades, just have, I normally get, like, a grape and a blue. Uh, and then, like, Mountain Dew, sugar-free. Root beer, I had one day just because I, I wanted a root beer. Um, just standard stuff, man. But in terms of... In terms of library, I just stuck with the exact same stuff I normally have every time I go. It's like Sam Adams or like a Bud Lime we can't get here, so I tend to always make sure that I have a Bud Lime while I was there, so I went through like three cases in two weeks. <laughs> I don't know, I went for a case of Corona, three cases of Bud Lime, and a case of Sam Adams over the course of two weeks. That are pretty good, man. I think I've worked out there had like 60 or 70 beers course of two weeks and that's like after getting back from like the theme parks at night putting the kids to bed and then just playing pool for a couple of hours <laughs> i was just having a few things <laughs> so I, I did pretty good i was pretty happy with it Not too bad. where's the daily look at yeah it doesn't exist right now clearly it's not going well i don't even remember opening this doorway up man did i just do that now? No, i'm gonna chill down here Oh, 
Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, am I a color person or a flavor person? Oh, that, yeah. Um, I I think it's I think it's dependent on what it is, which one it is. Cause like I, I like I just said, I would always say like Powerade or Gatorade Blue. I'd say blue is the color. So I couldn't even tell you what flavor it is. Like like we used to have a drink in the UK. I'm sure it's still going, but no one drinks it anymore. It was kind of like a 90s fad, like early 2000s, it's called WKD. Some people called it Wicked. And the tr the flavors you had originally was blue, which you know you when you drank it, you knew it was blueberry, right? But it, it was just called blue. And then there was like iron brew flavor and cherry flavor. And then they introduced some more later on down the line. But you always called it blue. And I do the same with the energy drinks. Like that's a, a Lucasade or Powerade or Gatorade blue. But then if I would ha I would call it grape if I was drinking grape. I wouldn't say I'm going to get a Gatorade purple. I'm going to get a Gatorade grape. But I would say blue. Uh, I think it Depends which one, man. Like, I'd probably say red, though. I wouldn't say cherry. I wouldn't be like, give me a Powerade cherry. I'd be like, give me a Powerade red. But I would not say purple. I'd definitely say grape. I don't. That's a bit of a weird one, man. That's crazy. I never really thought of that before. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I think for me, it's dependent on what the product is and 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 what the color is. What about you guys? Y'all, y'all flavor or color? Like, obviously, if you got an orange flavor thing, you just say orange, so it kind of works for both. It's blue resin, really? I always thought it tastes like blue. Um, it's finally over. Darby next week. Ah, oh, dude, I'm hyped. I'm really excited. I'm a bit. I'm. I was. I tell you what, though, with in terms of the Derby, if we play like what we did against Bournemouth and United play like they played against Fulham. It'll be the most boring derby ever because we'd both be terrible. If we both play how we're normally supposed to play, we're going to absolutely destroy them. But, yeah, it, it could easily be like another 6-1. Easy. But if we both play like that, it's just going to be like a 1-0 to see. A 2-1 to see. I don't know. We're, we're conceding a lot. But luckily, that bomb again, the only good thing to take away from that bomb game is clean sheet. So. I'll take a clean sheet every day of the week, but... Yeah. Very, 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 very rough final 20 minutes. I was turtling the entire time. I'm not good. <clears throat> VR11 in <laughs> VR11 within three hits. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I can't believe I'm still playing this, man. I've not got it yet. I knew the moment we got it that first game. After I died on Monday Dead, I was going right. We're, we're gonna be here forever now doing this. It's just not gonna happen. We're gonna be stuck here, not getting it for a long time. Okay, we're good, let's go. Okay, I got three hits. If I kill this guy, oh, I've got a. Am I, am I on the roof? Am I up here? Like, why? Why did I? Oh, it's because I've opened that doorway up instead of opening the stairs. That's weird of me. That's really weird of me. Okay, fine. White Gatorade is good. Is the is the white like like cherry glacier or something? I feel like whenever energy drinks do white, it's always like an iced cherry flavor. Or a oh, lemon, lemon lime, iced lemon or something. I don't know. I've got two hits after that. Yeah. Good morning, yeah, man. Big shout out to you, man. Thank you very much for joining us. Dude, no VR relevant stuff. And we're still going right now. 20 minutes in, no VR relevant. This is unreal. I wonder if I've done- have I done all my revives? I actually don't know. If we haven't, then I won't get another revive of it. 
And it's cherry glacier. <laughs> I told you, whatever they do it, man, it's always like cherry glacier. Yeah, I know my flavors, man. I know my flavors. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time in the US. Like, my honeymoon, I was there for three months as well. Like, I spent a lot of time there. And even when I was a kid, man, we used to go like twice a year, three weeks, twice a year. So I was in the US for six weeks throughout every year in my life. Like, it's pretty weird. It's pretty that much. Yeah, we don't have those flavors in the UK. We, we, we. I mean, it's pretty hard for us to find Gatorade for a start. It's only really like stocked in like big supermarkets. Like uh, maybe some like small shops as well, but you don't really get Gatorades. Our main one's Lucasade. So we do like Lucasade Sport. And then we've got like orange flavor of that. That's the main flavor. And then our, then, then the, 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 like the summer berries, like fruit flavor, raspberry, which is really nice. I really like the flavor. That's been around for years. And then we just, they've just, and they're the only like two main flavors that are stocked in there. We've gone through a lot of others. They've just released a blue flavor. I tried it over the weekend as well, and it just tastes like tropical, but they just put blue, blue coloring in. It's not even nice. It just tastes like tropical. I was really, like, down by it. I normally really like blue products, but that was um, questionable. Dude, how am I still going here with no VR11? Okay, still no VR11, but I got a fire sale. Come on, VR11. Come on, VR11. Come on, VR11. It's probably the best time for me to get a fire sale. Not the best box, but oh my god, are you kidding me? One more hit. Where the hell is this? Dude, this is gonna get ridiculous up there. I need this box to move. Oh, crap. Uh, I think that's the end of the game, to be fair. It's gotta be the end of the game. I don't even have PhD. <laughs> unless I get it, unless I get an insta kill from somewhere, uh, it's gotta be the end of the game, sure. Unless we somehow. Oh my god. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god! Woo! The skill, boys! The skill! did I do that? I known that would <laughs> oh, I love when I can just randomly do some really good zombie skill. And it doesn't just look like I'm here trying to hit the mystery box for a weapon. I'm actually here for a reason, because I'm skillful. <laughs> oh my god, what a legend. Sometimes, man, sometimes I go, you know what? I did good, kid. I did good. <laughs> Okay, that's why they call me one of the best controller players to live chat. You might see keyboard players do that, but hey, we're over here on controller in the year 2024. Ooh. Well, our box is here. I might actually be able to finish this, dude. If I get lucky and get the VR11, we might. There's a possibility I could finish the map. Save a zombie here. I think this might be the last. I got lost in a crawler. Oh, we're gonna save those. Oh, I got another one there. Oh, what nice. Some more, guys. Okay, good. Strokes of genius. It was good play, too. It was very good play. <laughs> What's the best plot twist in a movie I've ever seen? Oh, um. Um. 
best plots list in a movie I've ever seen. I don't really know. I think a lot of a lot of the time they make movies way too uh, obvious nowadays. I don't really know. What's your answer for that? Young Chief Big Chat using Hey Pizza. If you were asked to make a new poker zombies, what would it do? What would you call it? It, de it depends. I think it depends if uh, if Gobblegums are coming back or not. I know they're rumored to be, which would be great. I I, th I think I think having you know like inside of um, inside of IW that fan fortune card that lets you zip around like really really quick like basically an exo suit but you can't double jump it's kind of just pushing you forward that as a perk inside of zombies would be sick like that should be an actual full permanent thing that you can get uh and it and it kind of changes your movement to that it'd be really really good how have we still not got this this is unreal This is honestly mental, dude. How am I still... Where is he? Where the hell is the VR of 11? I have no idea. I have no idea. This is genuinely ridiculous. Yeah, pizza perk. It's like slow to slide, but when you slide, it just releases a load of pepperonis that explode. That's the perk, but they're never gonna want it because it's ridiculous. Replaces the Hell's Redeemer or Hell's Retriever with a freaking pizza box with blades on it and you throw this pizza box. Alright, VR11 coming up. VR11 coming up. Evaders a perk? Dude, it'd be sick, right? Come on, man. Come on, dude. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Don't get doubled. Dude, how many hits? This is just getting stupid. Do I reset? What time are we on? Nearly two? Three? Okay, we can, we can probably, we, it's, it's, it's nearly two. I'm gonna go for another reset here, but I needed to get a drink and hit the restroom, dude. This is genuinely becoming ridiculous. We're gonna go for a reset right now. I'll be back in literally a second. Let's get you guys full screen on the screen right now. Thank you very much for 229 likes, by the way. You all are freaking incredible. Let me go and get a drink, have a whiz. Freaking go for this again, dude. I'll be back in one second. Okay, 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 let's do this one. Whew. Let's get a reset going. No VR11 sucks, dude. Where's our VR11 fam at? I don't know. 
How are y'all doing, chat? You think we're gonna get the VR 11 soon? <laughs> Hopefully we get the VR 11 at some point. We'll see. Just came back RNG bad today. RNG was brilliant for the first game of the day. I beat the whole Easter egg in 14 minutes. Not a great time, but it's better than not beating it at all, right? And then freaking day, I died on round one on Mob of the Dead. I forgot that the timer of Afterlife is a lot shorter if you kill yourself. I used a grenade to kill myself. And then after that, the time was so short that I freaking died on round one. Then we're back here, and the VR11 has just been an absolute cheeky man since. And we have not seen that dude. Eleven hits? Oh, gross. Don't do that. Don't do the VR11 11 hits. That just sounds like pure vomit. No way, Jose. I want VR11 second hit after getting a Galil. That's the play. VR11 second hit, Galil first hit. That's the dream. That's the actual dream right there. I don't know how uh, realistic that dream is. But I think it has legs. The dream has legs. Next round, let's go. Let's go, calling it five hits. Okay, you call it all you want, okay? Who are you gonna call? Five hits, that's, that's what we're gonna call it. Imagine dying, imagine, imagine. Imagine dying, round one. Couldn't be me, right? Maybe Splash, it was me. Definitely was me. Not a bad maxi, man. Don't mind getting that. It means you can get headshots in. Do your thing with the uh, the M1911. Get extra points, you know. If you end up getting yourself a cheeky double, it's even better. Nice little double R to make uh, to make everyone happy. Well, he's now a melee, which is good. He's a melee as well. There you go. That's a melee. It's a two-up. This guy's gonna be a yeah, melee. It's a melee. There you go. How many zombies are there? Just go for the headshots. There you go. All right, we'll do one more round and then we're gonna leave. One more round and we leave. We are living in six. This is being realistic. Okay. What's on my streams? Oh, five. Between five and half five every day. Between five and half five every single weekday. We have fun here, right, chat? We have fun here. Exactly. The goal for the day is 400 likes, but theoretically, 500 always makes me feel like a, a normal human being. So, 500 likes is always welcome. But, uh, but our, our, realistically, the actual goal is 100 likes per map, so 400. But if you want to make me feel special, aim for five. Click that like button if you haven't done already. By the end of the entire day, 500 likes. We got this map and three more to go. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we finish it. If we don't, I'm gonna be gutted. There's no way. It's like this challenge is cursed, dude. It's all because of RNG on this map. After this map, there's no RNG. It's, uh, it's just a bit annoying, really. Let's go. Let's get that power on. Won't you be the one game where he gets in one hit? Ooh! Dude, I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't be me, man. Could it be me? We'll see. We'll see. Let's go make oil beer real quick and get that power. On. Dude, I'm hoping that RNG is on our side. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Let's get step one and two out of the way. We'll flip the round. And it should be good. Hello. Okay. Out the door we go. Downstairs we go. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Straight over here we go. Thank you. We melee. We leave. Let's go, 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 go. Flip the round, yeah. No harm in flipping the round. Gotcha. There probably is harm in flipping the round. I'm not gonna flip. You see, I'm gonna get a couple of these in place. Dude, how is better than I celebrity mom? Or us celebrities? Yeah, the voice actor. Every single voice actor inside of the map is celebrities. Every single voice actor inside of Mob of the Dead, Call of the Dead, and Shadows of Evil, and Dead of Night 1, 2, are all celebrities. There we go, that's done. One, 
That's it. There you go. Nice kill. Why have I not got a revive? What the hell's going on? Man? I don't really understand why I've not got a revive right now, but uh, whatever, I guess. Probably should grab one. So for Call of Duty or the Reimagined Tag. Uh, tag's fun. I like Tag Totem a lot. I have a lot of respect for Tag Totem. I would say that if I had to pick one to play forever, I think it's all dependent on what that means. If I get locked on a desert island for the rest of my entire life and I'm only allowed one zombies map out of Call the Dead and Tag the Totem, which one would I pick? I'd pick Tag the Totem solely because it has more content on there. If I had to play one map forever, in my circumstances I have right now in terms of streaming, I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know. Tag has a lot of... Oh, oh, I'll probably still be tagged to be fair. I have a lot of respect for Call of the Dead though. It's incredible. I think it's a better round map. But Tag is incredible. Dude. One, two, three. I, it's the content of it, man. It's, there's loads more content on Tag. For, for a streamer anyway, you know what I mean? Like, content creator streamer. I, if you could... If it was just to play the map casually forever, in your spare time, as well as the rest of your life stuff going on, probably pick Call of the Dead, I guess. But yeah, in terms of uh, the streamer mindset, the content creator mindset, I'd have to go with Tag the Totem. Got more stuff to do, more stuff to stream. Yeah, tough decision, man, when you got it, when you got to factor that into it. Nice. At least we can get some points right now to be able to hopefully get the VR level nice and quick. One. Two, three, drop. Okay, right, that's all done. That light will come in in a second. All we gotta do is get the VR11. That's it, just VR11 to go. Whatever do, whatever do this again with World War IW? Absolutely. Dude, I'm a huge fan of IW and World War II. World War, I think I've got IW sometime this week. We're gonna be streaming IW sometime this week. I don't think we're streaming World War II sometime this week, but we are gonna be streaming it at some point soon. Man, this snipe is actually weirdly good. I was like, I was like doing really well up until that point. Once I pointed it out, it started being weird. I bought some windows and hopefully get it. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be the VR11. Here we go, here we go, satellite radio. Y'all coming in with a boom, boom! No, but it was another sniper rifle, which is really, really good, but it's not what I want, man. But it does manage to uh, down this guy in one hit, so. You know, that's that's the dub right now. I'll make my way over and melee this door so we can at least get the green light in real quick. We're going, we'll, we'll, we'll go and place this guy in the middle and down in the, uh, the mystery box area just so I can get down here and get the box again. So, I'm gonna have to place him. Try to get the right size. Okay, let's go. In the water you go, good sir. I do get the scavenger a lot, but I'm not getting the freaking VR11 though. I feel like I've had everything a lot, to be fair. I can't think of one weapon that I've not had. Okay, we can finish this map right now if it gives me the uh, VR11 right now. Nice, right, not the VR11. Dude, I don't know why it's taking so freaking long. Like, how rare is this weapon? I didn't even think it was that difficult to get, to be fair. It seems to be whenever we stream this map nowadays with this challenge mainly, it just does not seem to go well. What are we on? 255 likes? Nice, dude. Thank you very much. And the box is gone. So, fire cells are now active. Please just go to a location that I'm actually going to be able to access. Don't go to the back of the ship or go on top of the lighthouse or something really, really dumb. Just go to an area where we're good. Whew. 
Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Where's the box gonna go? I may as well save this guy to me. Oh, there's two. I'm gonna save him just in case the mystery box goes to an accessible location right now and I get it first hit. Chances are very, very slim, but I don't want to get rid of all the zombies just in case, you know? Let's see, are we in a good place? Uh, we're at the power, so I can go there right now and have one go on the mystery box. Let's go make our way up there. RNG emotes in the chat. Yeah, if you have got the emojis for RNG, make sure you see them inside of the chat right now. I want to see as many as possible. I'll quit my job if you don't get it in three hits. Jesus. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on this. And I have no control over what's going to happen. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't. G11. Yeah, we got the G11, not the VR11. They're getting closer, though. If we're going off that... I think it's getting a little bit closer. Here we go. That, this is the one. This is the hit. I can smell it. It smells like crap. How did I know? No, that's a good weapon. I don't mind that. Okay, let's do this one. Guess we're doing another round right now. What are we on? 11 minutes in? It's fine. Somehow we got to half an hour on the last game. This short, we're on the last step. We just need one thing for the mystery box. Surely you can't take an, another 20 odd minutes, right? We'll see. I might have the post for my birthday. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we've got, I think we've got eight posters left, right? And all the posters have now been shipped. So if you already got one, it's officially on the way to you already. If you've not already got one, I think we've got eight that you could theoretically get. I'm not pushing them. I'm not telling you about it constantly. They're there if you want them, but I'm not putting a graphic on the screen and stuff. Maybe I just need to scare the VR11 into coming out. Like, telling him that I'll delete my channel if I don't get it in two hits. I just click the delete button, it's gone forever. Deleting my channel if I don't get it in the next two hits. That seems like a fair, 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 fair scare tactic for the, uh, the mystery box to listen to right now. Pretty certain we'll get it off that. The next two hits. God, I'm risking a lot here. My entire livelihood, my entire future prospects of everything. My entire career going down the drain if the mystery box doesn't give it me in the next two hits. So theoretically, I would need it within the next two hits right now. I have no idea what we just got either. Because I wonder if that is the VR. I'm, I'm never going to know. I'm never going to know what that is. I will have no idea. Forever, what weapon that could have been. Probably was the VR. We'll say it was a VR 11. I don't need to delete my channel. It was the VR 11. <laughs> but I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> that was it. Guaranteed. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I don't have to delete my channel because the VR 11 did just show up. That was good. We have 11. Oh, let's go! Okay, have I got another revive? I do, right? Let me get a revive real quick and we're done. Thank God we're finished with this thing. My goodness, right? Revive first. Revive first. Revive first. I'm going to call that the first two hits anyway because I didn't get to see what it was. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not deleted the channel. I don't have to delete the channel. Beautiful. Magical. Magical. Okie dokie, let's do this thing. I, I do wish I had PhD or something though as well, but no big deal, let's do this. Okay. Everton's appeal has half one, only six to the ducks in. I think they smell something like. I think they smell that we're definitely, uh, in this one, obviously. I mean, we're, we're not worried, no one's worried, but, you know, there was an article that came out. Well, not an article, but a leak, uh, an insider reported last week that we're fully cleared of charge and they're just playing to an answer. What's the color of Easter egg? There's a few steps. The main premise of it, the main story, is getting the golden rod, which is going to come down here for me in a second, and then giving it back to the Ultimus crew, who are traveling through time and space and currently stuck inside of the lighthouse here. And there's the golden rod. It's 
Fingers crossed, this just spawns it now. And I don't get stuck in it and die. There's a time limit. If I would have left the building, I would have instantly got the reward already. Get it, go, thank you. Don't mind if I die now. As long as I got it, it's all good. There you go. Thank God we got it in the end. Right, Mom of the Dead Time, let's go. We're all good. We're all good. Mom of the Dead Time, baby. Mom of the Dead Time. Can't hear you. Talk louder or turn down the generic music. Now nah, you're good, dude. I think everyone can hear me very, 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 uh, very efficiently right now. That we're all good, brother. Down now. Pop down out. Let's make our way to good old fashioned plutonium. Plutonium. Plutonium, we go on. Plutonium. Boom. Yeah, right. Mob of the Dead time, baby. We've already been here once today. Yeah, good to go, brother. Ba -na -ba -ba -da -da -da. We smashed it. Finally, we're done. I'm just so happy we finally did it. Yeah, let's keep an eye. Let's make sure we keep that eye on our afterlife right now. We don't, we don't want that. Whew. That would have been bad. That would have been real bad. Let's keep an eye on the clock for Mother the Dead. Afterlife. I almost died there, right at the end of that thing. That would have been nasty if I didn't, if I didn't uh, happen. But hey, 16 minutes better than nothing. Three maps left. Mother the Dead, Shadow's Evil, Dead of the Night. Let's freaking go Ray Gun. You think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the Ray Gun as well. I think I'm guaranteed the Ray Gun right here. I don't typically really hit the box that much on this map, but I'm very certain that we'll get the Ray Gun anyway. There you go, let's do this then. And let's see where we have got the key. The key is there, brilliant. Right, how much is this doorway? A thousand, let's get the thousand points. Open that doorway up, and then we're good. Gotta find the parts, gotta get out of here. Slide one and then get uh, the melees. Did I ever play Gauntlet on Black Ops 4? I kinda like that. I, I did play a lot of the Gauntlets, yeah. I enjoyed them a lot. They were pretty good. But, but, um, they're, they're boring and monotonous. And just, yeah, I don't, I, they're not, they're, they're fine. They're a good challenge as an additional thing, but I don't really enjoy streaming them. They're, they're not as, yeah, not as great. My angel is down here with a 199 saying, good to see you, pizza. Hope all is well. All is well, good sir. Thank you very much for joining us today, dude. And yeah, absolutely. Everything's so freaking great. Really, really good. Do a certain mob of this Easter egg. Uh, I am running a mod right now, yeah, but it do, all it does is allow you to go to the boss fight at the end. You normally already can do that co-op. But uh, the solo Easter egg for this map doesn't include that. The solo Easter egg speedrun is literally just playing it up until you listen to the final audio quote. You don't have to go to the boss fight for the uh, for this map's world record speedrun. But I like it. I think it, I think it adds something. I think it's a nice addition. And I tell you what, I think maybe because we're doing that, because we're doing this and using this mod as part of this, should we should we do the Shadows of Evil one as well so we can get the Shadows cutscene? Should we do the entire Shadows Easter egg? Yeah, put a yes inside the chat if you want me to do that. I'm fully down, by the way. If you if you think that'd be good, let me know. I think it'd be really, really fun to go ahead and do the entire Shadow of Evil Easter egg and do it where we get the cutscene and stuff. Just put a put it put a yes inside of the chat if you want me to do that for the next map. We'll do the solo Easter egg. Uh, 
where it includes the cutscene as well. I think that's a good idea. Because we're already doing the extended, uh, extended mob here, so we may as well do extended shadows. We can do the boss fight, uh, boss fight and the cutscene and everything. Okay, so this is where I died last time, just in afterlife, because I ended up killing myself and you got less time. Yes, cool, dude, I'm down. Let's do it. We'll do the full shadow Zegna. Okay, that's all done. We can all get a key in a second as well, but I'm gonna work on this doge in a second. One, two, thank you very much. I'll make our way up here. Grab this. Hey, 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 I see you. Tame, thank you very much for following over on Twitch, man. I appreciate you a lot. Welcome to the Pizza Club, good sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that follow. If no one else is following over on Twitch, make sure you do get your way over there and follow us over there, man. I think we're on the road to 10,000 followers on there, so I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very, very much. We'll do full shadows then. So full call of the, uh, full call of the dead, full mob of the dead, full shadows, and then, of course, dead of the night to finish. Be a nice celebrity day. If I can finish this uh, and get all these mobs done, I'll be happy. Good times, man. Good times. 265 likes as well, man. With the goal today being uh being 400 to 500, if you want to make me happy. Uh, we're going in the right direction, man. In the right direction. That's two. That's three. Is that final zombie? No, good. That's four. Dude, I, I think I've had every drop on this round. It's insane. This almost makes it too easy. And that's four that we've done there. That's five. Have we got two more? Just is this last? It's the last. Okay, um... I'll tell you what, let's just save him for a sec. I'll come back around in a second. I do, I do want to use him and utilize him to fill up that, that up. But I just want to, because I've got three downs available, so I may as well use one really. I'll probably make my way straight up to this next dog next anyway. Let me go and open this up as well. Mini eggs or cream eggs? Cream eggs all day, every day. Mini eggs are fine. I, they're not great, but they're fine. If someone bought me some food, you started eating. But a cream egg, you kind of have to buy a cream egg every year. I will buy one cream egg every single year. Minimum. Right? But I'm not going to buy myself mini eggs. They're not great. But like I said, I'm going to eat them if someone gets me. Silly, can I make this run? I actually don't know. I'm gonna assume that I can, but it, I think it is risky. Yeah, we're good. It was risky though. But I think we're good. Okay, good stuff. Zombies are. Uh, so I've got one more zombie to get over to the side anyway. Don't know when I'm gonna do it. I'll do this now. There you go. Alright, let's go up the top. I love one go on the box ship. One go on the box is fine. Oh dude. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy trying this baby out. Fast. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Can they black up three Zombie Chronicles maps every Easter egg can be done solo or not? So every map on Chronicles, uh, Ascension needs a mod, which is done on PC. Shangri-La needs a mod, which is on PC. Moon can be done completely solo on, uh, on Chronicles on any console uh, without mods. Uh, and Origins can be done. Um, so the, all, the, the four Easter eggs that are available from Zombie Chronicles, uh, two can be done solo, two cannot be done solo. But with mods on PC, they all can be done. It's two. It's three.
survived. I'm trying to maximize all the downs that I have, but there's nothing else to actually do with it. Six. Let's get out of here. Oh, we are on Black Ops 2, so I wonder if I absolutely dip down to the other side. Can I get the other one to spawn in just to finish this dog? I reckon I can. I'll do this very quickly before we carry on. You gonna, you gonna eat a whole box of cakes before this egg is done. Oh, give it a good go, but I tell, I tell you what, what an underrated dessert is in the UK. Very basic dessert is crispy cakes, man. Takes me straight back to being a kid, but crispy cakes are freaking goated. Especially at Easter. Crispy cakes with the mini eggs on top. Oh, crap. <laughs> Does the dog damage you? The dog can damage you, yeah. You got damage, you can take damage from the dog. Only slight damage. I'm seeing if I can like, kind of get through there, but I don't think I can. I guess we just take them down. Oh, there's that. Let's go. That dog's done. <clears throat> cool. I'm just gonna do the washing machine real quick. Am I doing celebrity maps for my advanced world pet? That's not Treyarch, so no, but I will be. I will be at some point. I'm gonna kill these guys and do a double points round actually, just so I can try and max nice points. I'm gonna do a double points round. Just got a, a bunch of points together and then I'm good to go for the rest of this. <clears throat> so yeah. Um <laughs> Celebrity Celebrity Mouse will be different on, on the other games, because I mean wh wh who are you saying is a celebrity on is it Bill Paxton? I think Bill Paxton's in that game, right? I think Bill Paxton's dead now, isn't he? I think he passed. Because he's the main guy in Twister, right? Am I wrong? Did you see they're doing a Twister 2? Oh, dude, I saw the trailer when I was watching the Super Bowl. It was like, it was part of the Super Bowl, uh, like, advertisements at some point. The, the, the Twister 2 trailer. I don't, I don't know how it's going to be good or not, I don't know, but it's such a legendary series to go back to. I'm surprised it's taken this long to do a sequel to it. Like, uh, Twister, Twister 2 could have happened a long time ago. And we're going to save a zombie here and then we'll go down. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So funny when when I, I read something about the original Twister that uh, it was it was it was it Helen Hunt that was on Twister as well. Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton were like the main the main people in it, and apparently they both hated each other. And even while they were like filming, they didn't want to do scenes together or anything. They genuinely hated each other. That is mental. I couldn't imagine spending that long like doing a movie and stuff, and you genuinely hate your co-star. That seems crazy. Oh no. <clears throat> but yes, we will be doing, uh, these are kind of like celebrity one-off maps. Otherwise, I'd literally be doing the entire roster of AW, the entire roster of World War II, and the entire roster of uh, IW. That'd be a mental day, though, to try and do all those maps. AW, IW, and World War II. You're talking like a, a massive day. Huge day, though. Nice okay, I have a lot of dollar here, and I've also got enough zombies to be able to fill the final dog. And I've got three down, so I think theoretically I could do my first plane journey on this round. Just gonna train up a little bit. There we go. Right, let's get out of here. This is good. What do I think about Modern Warfare Zombies? One of the best experiences we've had in Zombies on release for a long time. Changing the game up, making it different, making everything feel relatively new and fresh. Uh, would I take it over round based? Absolutely not. Is it a travesty that they've left it in the way that it is? Yeah, probably. I'd prefer them to work on their new game though, so I'm glad they're not working on it. I'm glad we're not getting any new content for it. But the, for that like release month of the game coming out, oh, it was a lot of fun. 
the whole of November and December was freaking great. But, um... I think that everyone that was enjoying the game and wanted updates for the game, I think they're a little bit salty and a bit upset. Like, I was enjoying it, but then I realized very early on that we're not going to get any updates for it, so we're just going to stop playing it. I'm not... I ran out of steam with it, and then... I think I ran out of steam at the exact same time that they just decided to not do anything on it ever again. You know? But, um... We are getting that game mode. It's not been officially announced, but I can tell you we are. 950. Uh, we're going to be getting that game mode on the next game, so if you like it, you'll be playing it again with Treyarch Zombies. Obviously, they're doing round based as well, but we have the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana, hey, yeah. But we're going to get the best of both worlds and um, have both. Both of those. Both round based and the MWZ game mode, too. So as long as you like it, you'll be playing it again. Oh. <laughs> great, 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 great. That's how we like to, like to have it, Eddie. The sad thing about this, when you do this step, you've only got 60 seconds to go and grab this part. Which means I might have to do another round. I'm definitely going to have to do another round, because I won't have the, the six zombies to fill the double down. I'll do one more round if we do. How am I? I'm good! Thank you very much for asking, I appreciate you. Nah, I'm doing good, man. Thank you very much for asking. We'll do this final round and we're good. Theoretically, I don't actually need to. I think we still need the Hell's Redeemer, right? Even though I've already got the, um, the Blindiga. I still need to do the Skulls Easter egg regardless. Oh, but I love the double hit down, dude, just a swing. That's why you never felt really cheated when you go down on like, um, on like Black Ops 3, because you know that you've not been double swiped. But the double swipes on BO1 and BO2, you always feel really cheated. I think that's number 3 right there. What do I mean by celebrity easter eggs? The maps where all the characters are voiced by celebrity casts. Call of the Dead, Mob of the Dead, Shadows of Evil, Dead of the Night. All, all, all not the original crew that we're normally playing as. They're all like celebrity crew. I don't know how many we've done there. Gotta be close to being finished then. It's all done, dude. Nice. Ah, I think we're happy there. Let's go. Go on to a jug on as well, and then we're good. <laughs> really? Nolan North? Wait, Rick Tart Nolan North, who plays Rick was in Ned's The Class Guide School Survival Gun? What, what did he play in it? Was he the principal? I vaguely remember. Now you said it. I can vaguely picture him. I can't remember what he did in it. But that is actually wild. <laughs> what a show as well, right? <laughs> what an actual show. That thing was freaking great. Brilliant, man. That's freaking amazing. Nikolai was inside a family guy as well. Really? What did he do in Family Guy? I mean, he's got a great voice for that kind of like, uh, yeah. for that kind of show, I guess. So I can see that totally uh. being a thing. But what did he do in Family Guy? I obviously voice the character, but it's got to be like, it's got to be like, uh, like that kind of like character. That's what he does best. Where it's like, uh, ah, like deep and got that twang to it. You know what I mean? Like, he's really good at doing that kind of like, it's brilliant. Really good voice acting. What's the music in the background? Just a, I use a website called Epidemic Sounds that allows you to have like copyright free music while you stream. You just gotta pay like $15 a month. He was a science teacher, really? All right, I need to have a look at that. That's so funny. Gotta love YouTube notifications, not something when pizza goes on. I do apologize, that is not my fault. Fifteen hundo, brilliant. Um 
I actually haven't paid by any of the dolls to get through the That's a flip around. We are gonna have to flip the round. Say goodnight, bitch. <laughs> what a quote. Right. Well, guess, one more round of a gun. Shoot it with lightning bolts. Ah. Let's open all this up. We good? Today might be the day we finish celebrity maps, man. I really hope so. Want to add today's date to our timeline of PBs and save the time. Let's go make our way to the plane, dude. We can go and ride the plane right now. Uh, let's save a zombie before we go there, just so I know that as soon as I get to the bridge, I just kill one zombie and then we're done. Uh, I think I'm missing one part of the... Oh, it's the acid gap that's going to be on the roof, right? I'm missing one part of the acid kit, which is on the roof. I've got the thousand points to open this doorway up. We can go and make our way there now and <clears throat> do the plane. He wasn't the science teacher, he was an art dealer. I'm trying to picture him in the head, man. I can see his face in the show. I, I definitely will have seen every episode of that show when I was a kid. I feel like I saw a lot of episodes of a lot of shows. But if you haven't done already, 21 likes, let's freaking go, boy! I'm the clean one. I'll, I'll, I'll update you now. We're starting our uh, dono cards again today. So the clean one. Boom. I'm sending you the perk dono card for being top dono today, brother. Obviously, if you're there at the end of the day, which you will be, because it's a nice, quiet Monday. It's a love Dude, I tell you what, today is freaking great. It's a lovely Monday. Everyone seems really happy considering it's a Monday. Oh, normally in the mood's a little bit, a little bit down, and everyone's kind of, I don't know, but it seems pretty chilled in here today. Everyone's got kind of... I hope so. I don't know. Ah, it feels. It doesn't feel like a Monday. It feels like a. It feels like a Thursday or something. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And it's get rid of the Brutus and then dip. Get rid of the Brutus and we dip. Where are you at? Where are you at, Mr. Brutus? Nice. And a maxi. Cool, dude. Right. Still a decent amount of zombies left. Wait, did I didn't flip the round, did I? I don't think I did. Nah, I'm pretty sad I didn't just flip the round. And flip. Thank you. Go. Perfect. <laughs> How can it not feel great on Monday? Oh, dude, I love singing the blues. Love singing the blues. Said it to my father-in-law the moment that uh, that United lost. It, it was before we even played, before we even kicked a ball this week, and I was like, oh, I love singing the blues. I, I, but I thought we would, I thought it would, we would easily win. <laughs> I did not expect it to be like a squeaky bum time for the whole of uh, the whole of the last 20 minutes. Was, that was rough, man. But hey. It's good. Of course it feels good. Looting tomorrow. I'm running real low on Fingers crossed we don't play like we did on Saturday. We'll be fine. And then uh, the Derby on Sunday. And then Copenhagen on Wednesday after that. Mm. Yeah, dude. Gotta say, it's, 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 it's where it starts getting busy. It's a busy period where anything can happen. Busy but exciting. A lot of a lot of content to watch. I'm gonna save a few here and we're good. Right, there we go, I'm happy with that. Let's dip. You watching me for nearly a decade? My god, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much.
some more fuel Someone should do a montage of Pizza Space morphing over the years from when he first started until now. My god, you'll just see when I start earning some kind of monetary value that meant what that I could actually I eat real food and then I became really fat and then you see me realize that I'm really fat and then become skinny again. Get one of the gas cans. It's always cool <laughs> when you see that point in someone's life where they go, okay, this person can eat now. <laughs> it doesn't just look like this. It's just like, ah, and it's like, oh my god, I don't want to be funny about You can see when I cancelled the wine subscription during uh, COVID that my face started going a little bit more. <laughs> That's more fuel I've been watching you for nearly 25 minutes. Woo! Got someone watching for a decade inside the house and you're watching for 25 minutes. I appreciate you, man. Welcome. Everyone's always a welcome here. I'm doing all right now, you know. Feeling pretty good inside here. We're looking all right. Now, I think regardless of me already having the blunder or not, I still need to do the uh, the skull Easter egg. So let's go and grab all the skulls real quick. You had three nil and super six. One nil is better than losing. I agree. I had uh, I put four. I had four, but I, I should have put three. Should have put three as well. Three was more realistic. I just thought, you know what? I, I, I was just upset of how, how we played with Brentford. And even Copenhagen, the first, well, actually, no. Actually, yeah. The first, like, a Copenhagen, I even thought, you know, we could have done slightly better. Um, so I was just annoyed at that. I was like, there's, a, there's, there's, the good thing is for us, I feel, as do I feel like a lot of City fans right now, I feel like there's an, there's an arse whooping coming really soon to someone. Like, I know that this 1-0 kind of thing, I'm not, I, I don't expect to get a big, big goal game every game, you know, but I can feel one. I know when something's going to happen, and it's going to happen soon, and we're going to just destroy a team. Like, rip them to shreds. And the fact that we have the derby this week really makes me happy, <laughs> knowing that it could be then. If that's the case, my god, I'll be happy. But we'll see. What up, Tar? Welcome back, man. Good to see you inside of the chat. Always a pleasure, good sir. I'm gonna get everything my way in. Helen Keller? She wasn't in Twisted. I think it was Helen Hunt. It was definitely Helen Hunt in Twister. It wasn't Hel Helen Keller. The 32 Origins? I've not seen that now. I don't really keep up to date with much, to be honest. Okay. I, wish I, I wish I did. Yeah, we're gonna ah. pack punch this round, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna don't open that door. We're, we're gonna go inside the crowd. <clears throat> Gonna run around the houses. It's definitely a more long-winded game than I was expecting. I don't know. Thought it was gonna be a nice short one. Some kind of machine. How do I turn it on? Go, 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 go. Place it in there. There we go. Let's grab this final part, ride the plane again. Here's one of the gas cans. And I'll get the final skull right now as well, and we're all good. Cool beans, dude. Not bad. One more flight, and then we're on to uh, Call of the Dead. Um, uh, Shadows of Evil, sorry. And we're going to be doing the full Shadows Easter egg. I'm going to include the cutscene, and it's going to be freaking great, dude. It's going to be great. Ah, you guys haven't done already. Smash that like button. Nine likes to go until 300. 
We're looking good, boys. We're doing well. It's 26th of February. It's a strange fucking storm. Uh, got that leap year day this week as well. The day where women can propose to men. That's apparently what it's all about, right? I don't know. Oh, that's what it was like in the old days. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's fair. Once every four years. Okay, we're gonna kill this man. I don't want to flip around, I need to make sure there's a- uh, yeah, good, good, good. Let's pack punch. Nice, let's go. Wait for the chairs to come back, and we're all good. Woo! You've never heard about this leap- wait, you- wait, you never heard about a leap year? You don't know what a leap year is? Really? Oh, you've never heard that about leap years, yeah! You didn't know that? Yeah, no, no one does. I'm sure there's some people that do it, but I don't think it's like a, a practice that gets used all the time. There will be someone that does it, you know, obviously, but same with everything. I can't believe you've never heard that about leap years. Crazy. Right, final round, and then we're done with the Easter egg. Final round, and then we're done. It's been pretty nice, this actually. I've had too many complaints about this run. Dude, this new playlist is actually really good on this website. Hell yeah. Some more fuel. Am I planning on playing Helldivers? No, I'm planning on playing the, the new, uh, well, the, I don't know if it's remasters or just re-released. You guys can tell me if it's remasters or re-released, but of Battlefront, uh, one and two. Is, are they remastered or are they just, are they just literally just re-releasing the old, old games? If it's a re-release, then that's a bit, uh, it's, I mean, it's fine. I'm excited. The servers will be full, but. It'd be great if they were remasters, right? Right, we're almost done with this Easter egg. We just gotta grab this. We're going straight back on the plane now. When they come back, we're done. Just type the prison numbers in and off we go. Here's one of the gas cans. I think we might have to just run over here real quick. I don't think I have to pick this up, but I need to at least do that and have it there. Oh. Re-release. Got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Cool. Well, dude, I'm naturally really down to play it. It's going to be good. Updated graphics. Oh, dude, if it's slightly updated graphics and there'll be like, there'll be populated servers, like, I can't wait. It'd be freaking great. Honestly, I'm gonna stream that for at least a day. At a minimum of a day. I'm excited. Go. Alright, this is the final flight, and then, uh, then we're just gonna do the, uh, the boss fight. Well, it's having the person in this in the boss fight. Two maps to go, chat. Is today the day when we finish celebrity maps? Today could be the day where celebrity maps get finished, and I can add a date to the uh, to our PB list, our PB shortlist, our PB sheet. Chungs, big shout out to you, man. Thank you very much for the 37 month membership renewal. Just saying the word. Yes, lad. Wait a minute, that didn't work. One sec. Beep, boop, beep. Yes, lad. Boom, lad, come on, baby. Lad, come. Oh, that didn't work. Beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. 
Now function with lock cam. Beep boop beep beep. Lock cam fixed. Yes, lock. There we go. Hell yeah, brother. Lock cam. Lock cam. Lock cam. Lock cam. He's live, baby. <laughs> we love it. Absolutely freaking unreal. I'm about to do an extra round. I forgot to flip at the right time. Yeah, I'm about to do one more round. I don't know. I don't know. It depends if the uh, the things are there. I'm actually just gonna stay here for a second until uh, I just want to pack punch the B23. I just want to see the pack punch come up, basically. Here we go. Alright, let's go. I'll have to do a round when we get back. Right what sort of games did I play growing up? Or was it just COD? We, we didn't have Call of Duty until I was 15. Or 14. 14 was Call of Duty 4. 15, World of War. 16, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, so, growing up, up, uh, I played Super Nintendo uh, when I was a kid. And, like, some PC games, stuff like that. And, um... So a lot of like Super Mario World, Super Metroid, uh, yeah, a, a lot, of, a lot of games on Super Nintendo, and then PlayStation One, Nintendo 64, uh, then moved to GameCube, and then uh, the original Xbox, and then got the 360, and then uh, a few years after I had the 360, Call of Duty 4 came out, and, and kind of changed everything. But yeah, a lot of my childhood was just, like playing like platformers and stuff like that. I think I do need to flip them around. Yeah, we do. Gotta flip this round and then they'll be, then they'll be going. I think once the rounds flip, we're good. I just accidentally flipped around prematurely on the bridge. Which meant that I've got to do one extra. wasn't the first one's quite obvious, but who played Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3? Like, only, like, pro people that played COD 1 and 2 were, like, PC gamers, so the people that were a lot older, like, adults, no no one my age real realistically played Call of Duty 1 or 2. It was, like, PC gamers that played it at the time. Call of Duty 3 was the first, like, kind of populated Call of Duty on console, but not really. And then everything kicked off with COD 4. Uh, I wrote the thing. Surely these should be flipping, right? Dude, are they not flipping because I didn't pick the one up from the, uh, from the office? It might be it, you know. Go and have a look. Probably fix the problem there. I'd definitely just fix the problem. I pick up, so you don't have to pick up the spot. It's because I didn't pick that up. I just assumed that it, by by just leaving it on the table, you've activated these. Very good. Let's just liven things up a little. Right, they should be flipping now. I think. I'm pretty certain it should be doing it now. Unless it makes, yeah, I can hear them flipping actually. Take this as a longer game. Yeah. 
Put it around. Put. I'm gonna clear this guy out. Get rid of him. And then I'm gonna go and sack him the numbers. Let's type some numbers in. Do you want to put some numbers inside of the chat? Oh, I'm totally going to forget. <laughs> Please put some numbers inside of the chat. 101. I'll type in... I'll do two and two. I always do two on this anyway. Oh, I forgot 101. Oh, I've done it. Bo. 101. Is it three, 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 seven, two? It might be three, eight, two, but I can type in all three as long as I got the revive right now. We're good. There you go. Three, eight, six. All right, we're fine. Eight seven two or four eight one, and then four eight one. Done. Cool. Now we kind of gotta try and survive this without dying. I don't think there's that many zombies, but it's a two eight now. No. Good, good, good. Woo! Bye bye! This has been a rough game. <laughs> it's really bad. This has been a rough, 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 rough game so far. <laughs> I can already see it getting rougher to be fair. Dude, I don't know what I've done wrong, but the, the solo egg didn't start. I don't know how I've glitched it, but the solo egg has not begun. It did not, it did not spawn in a friend. Even though I've, I've not done anything differently. I really don't know why it's not odd. Oh well, I guess we just don't need the full egg. No big, no big deal. We'll still leave shadows. Go, 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 go. Who joined? No one joined! <laughs> Makes me wonder what's gonna happen here, you know. Like, what is actually gonna happen here? Still counts, it still counts. It counts. It's, like, it's, it's still still a little right? Let's see. Is it gonna spawn anyone in or no? I'm not really sure. This is the first time I've ever seen this mod break. Their participation in the murder. The three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. We'll see. Well, I, anyway. They seemed a lot quicker this time, you know. Here we go. If it lets me on, then no big deal. Yeah, I didn't have joke. That's double tap, good sir. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't spawn in, but hey-oh, we're done. There we go. All done. All done with Mob of the Dead, baby. All done with Mob of the Dead. <laughs> Boot. Right, Shadow Sign, baby. Shadow Sign. Let's go. Shadows of Evil. I'm hyped, man. GG's. Let's get that GG's inside here right now. 308. 308 likes. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Why did you buy Deadshot Darkery? I had a ridiculous amount of dollar. What was I going to do with it? I was about to finish the map. Uh, for the win, thank you very much. FTW with a 30 month membership a renewal saying much love to you and the fam, pizza. I've been making my way through all the BO4 gauntlets lately and I've been having lots of fun doing it. Do you have a favorite gauntlet? I haven't really played them and I haven't really played all of them properly to be honest, so I'm just going to have to say nine. I don't know. I've not really, I've, I, like I said, I've not really put the time and effort into actually playing them all. I'll say nine just out of the fact that that's the only one that I, I can even remember finishing. So we'll go with that, but it's definitely probably not the best one, right? It does have a boss fight on it. I don't know if any of the others have a boss fight. But it at least includes a boss fight on that map, right? But there you go. Uh, and for the win, thank you very, very much. We are going to go and do the full solo shadows. It's, it's been a long time since I've done solo shadows, but... I'm down for it, including including the cutscene and everything else. Why not, right? Why not? Let's do this thing. Turkey Pig, thank you very much for the follow over on Twitch as well. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you very much. And also that 30 months from, uh, for the win. Appreciate you a lot. Good sir. Let's load up our Black Ops 3 right now. Let's do this thing. Do you know the zombies lore? I didn't realize there's so much. There's so much. I know a lot of it. If you ask me questions, I can pretty much <laughs> give you an answer. If I don't know it, the chat always knows it, so... I can give you an idea. <clears throat> Other than it's got a solo on gauntlet, it's hard. Yeah, a lot a lot of the gauntlets are kind of like unless you see what you've got coming up or you played it before, you are not gonna finish it. And I don't kinda like that. I kinda like the ability of like if you were good enough, you could probably do it first time if you're good enough. And then you could pretty, try you know what I mean? Some of them are just like if you've not put the correct thing on to help you out, you're just not gonna be able to finish it. Is it the solo strike month for that as well? I think it is. Yeah, let's see. Shadows of Evil solo. Okay, let's do this. Let's pick some stuff for shadows, dude. All right, shopping free. Probably not. We'll go with raindrops, we'll go with points. We will go with round robin to make it a little bit easier for myself and I don't have to worry. We'll put Perkaholic on and then we'll switch it out with... Uh, we'll go with that. Sure, let's do this thing. Six and a half hour long video going through everything up until block and oh, Jesus, that is just insane. Insane amounts of stuff, man. Insane amounts of stuff inside of zombies. But I, I guess people need to learn everything before Gold War comes out, so yeah, for sure. We're doing the full shadows, we're not just doing normal shadows. We're doing the full, full, full shadows with the cutscene and everything. So I, I don't get a lot, I, I don't think all my guns are set and stuff like that. I think they'll, it's a little bit. And it's also been such a hot minute since I've even done this. So I am so rusty that I'm not going to be able to play this normal. Excited to run back. I'm definitely going to miss this, but we may as well see what we've got here. What have we got here? One. I don't actually. I'm going to do the train. I have no idea. It's been too long since I've properly played Shadows of Evil and been it real. Also, I don't have the RK5 anyway, so that's another thing. And I got that as well. That's another thing. Okay, yeah, this is this is a good thing about no resets. Having shadows not at the start of a super run is super interesting for me. I'll tell you what, we'll do this instead. One, two, three. There you go. Let's go. Cool. And uh, let's go and start our first lockdown right now. We'll grab a pack one shotgun while we can. Lex did a reaction to the six hour video. What, he, re he did a, he watched it for six hours? My God, that boy is, uh, that boy has balls. I could not sit there for six hours watching that. Also, this is not the right build of this gun to be able to get fast kills with the Margos. Not bad, but it's not the gun that I wanted. I'd, for a full completion of this map, including cutscene, I'd be happy with a 45 minute time sweeper. I will take a 45 minute time on this. Nice and slow, 45 minute. Also, let's go and find Final Zombo. Yeah, 
Call the train and shall I keep it? No, it's a little bit more complex. Like the first time I did it, it it really sucked, man. Like to get it done, you need to um to get the final step done, you've got to melee or you've got to shock all of the lines, and then you've got to shock the last line, and then instantly leave beast mode, and then and then run down. Activate the train and go back in beast mode. Two, one, two. Uh, I'll explain it when I get to it. I think it's. I think I'm making it sound a little bit more complex than it actually is. But it, it is. It's not just as straightforward as activate the train. But I'll show you. I, I learned it relatively early on how to get it uh, get it done really quick and really easily. Two, one, two, dude. Okay. likes man i'm telling you today's the day we finish celebrity maps and today's also the day where we potentially hit our like goal for the day it was 100 likes per map which means we need to finish the day with 400 likes i said 500 to make me a happy boy not just hitting the like goal 500 is the happy boy goal which is possible but we got one more map after this and to finish the actual goal is only 88 likes that's pretty good but the happy boy goal is a little bit a little bit more 180 something, but I think we can do it. I'm feeling positive. Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. Let me turn my air conditioning back on. Turned it off before because it got freaking cold in here, man. You ready? We're going to go back on in three, two, one. It'll probably turn off again at some point, but we put the air conditioning on. Let's try and blast it out. I switch my bind for switching guns. No. I think everyone always thinks that I'm either playing on controller or I have like a special button. My, my movement on Black Ops 3 is this. Like literally just doing that, so. And Black Ops 3 movement is nice. It's good. For a controller player, I think I've got a really, really, really good movement on this game. Same with most, uh, same with, same with actually all the zombies. I'm pretty happy with how my movement is on all the games. For a controller player, anyway. Is that just a number two? Is that it? Might as well come over here. How hot is it? Uh, the room's currently 38 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 38 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty warm, man. But that's without the air conditioning on. It's because it's such a, it's such a small room. But that's that's without the air conditioning on. Once it's in the air conditioning on, it goes and drops to it. Man. How old's my camera? It's a thousand plus pound camera, but it's a DSLR. It's not old. I only got it like three years ago. And it only, it's not supposed to be plugged in all the time. It's just like, I can have insane quality camera for uh, if it's plugged in all the time. So it's like, it's all, it's constantly like, oh. Let's use a train to get the last one, why not? Why not? Let's treat myself. It's quite nice though, because it means it, it like when the air condition's not in here, I can just chill with a t-shirt. 
and the air condition is on, it's like, oh, it's freaking cold. I don't mind using the train for the final one. Five. That's not too bad, man. Like, I, I'm putting about a 45 minute timer on this because I'm rusty as balls on this game right now. Uh, one, two, one, two, two, and two, one, two, right? Two, one, two, two, and one, two. Okay, not bad. A 45 minute timer for the completion of full shadows, not just the normal. I think that's fair. as well so I can try and open myself as well. I'm actually really excited to get to the dead of the night as well and hopefully not die on it. I mean, it's, it's a really rusty map for me. I got to a point where I was pretty pretty efficient on it and then I, I lost all my knowledge of that map. So I didn't play it for ages. So, sub four overall, sub three would be beautiful. Ah, dude, if I aim for a sub four, yeah, we'll, we'll get sub three. We'll get sub three for all of these maps easy. I'm telling you, that's, that's kind of the goal now, I guess. Okay, let's go and get the egg out and let's start filling these egg things up. What was piece of reactions to the MWZ update? Which update? What, what are we talking about? I didn't even know there was an update. Schedule for this week is uh, every day this week. We're live streaming. I have no idea what we're doing yet. I've not put thumbnails together or anything. Just because I'm kind of backwards since we got back from uh, the US. Um, so I have no idea. This could be wrong, you know. That was right, good. So I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're live streaming every day this week. Um, tomorrow is uh, a 12 o'clock start. Wednesday will probably be a 12 o'clock start as well. And then Thursday, Friday, we can start a little bit earlier. Actually, it might be L2. It might just be able to do it. We'll see. We got Bugs 5. I can make my way back inside if I punch and get that done. One. Two. Three. Oh, I missed that one. I don't think we'll be able to do it now. No. Let's go and see if we get Bugs 5 or not. If we get Bugs 5, that'll be good. A World War 2 day. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. No bugs. No bugs. Kill him. Bum, 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 bum. Right. Is that done yet? One more? One more? Last one? Yeah, let's go. Right, two to go on this egg, and then we're done. And then we've definitely got bugs on round six. Which means probably round seven. 
It's gonna be one we're actually gonna be able to start the mod with the the model. Whoop. Should have really fast egg here. I don't think we'll have enough to finish the final thing here, but we'll see. Who need these hello labs? Thank you very much for joining us, man. I appreciate you a lot. Did you bring a legend? I don't want to update some other one for three. Yeah, I just want Treyarch to grind out their game. It's like, there would be no point. It'd be a waste, an absolutely waste of development time. You know, everyone, everyone literally just wants to go Treyarch game. No one cares about Modern Warfare Zombies, like, realistically speaking. I think anyone that would say they want Modern Warfare Zombies content are people that are just living in, in the now instead of thinking about like what you're gonna be stuck with for the next two years when you for the next two years to be good over like now so. almost not too far away i'd normally go and do a uh, bug around down in the other area but i'm gonna just do this nuke i guess Not to be fair, I'm just gonna stay here. Screw it, we'll just stay here. There you go. I'm only like one kill off, that's why I didn't want to really go down and do that right now. It's fine, we're doing the full run and it's not, not a good thing anyway. I feel like this is a rerun. A rerun. A rerun. I get it. I'm almost done. But no, I live stream every single day, dude. I have done it for a long time. It feels good. It feels great, in fact. To be able to know that I, I've kept a decent streak going, man. I would say I probably live streamed the, the hours spent streaming. Call of Duty Zombies, I probably stream more than anyone else in the, in, in the world. I, I can't think of one person that would even get close to the amount of hours that I've live streamed Call of Duty Zombies for. Like, even if I think of some of the bigger names that do stream zombies, they're so far away because they would only do like two hours a week. When I, when I do 25 hours a week and have done for eight years. Minimum as well, right? It's crazy. Oh, I actually need to do that. <clears throat> Let's open this up, this buddy. Okay, so after this, we can clear out some of these things, actually. And then we've got to get the Marguerite done, get the upgraded sword, do the flag step, and then after that, Shadow Man, and then finally, we've got to do the train. Go, dude. Best music ever, dude. Myth Busting Monday's music takes me straight back. Your core audience is digging this stream. Dude, I'm genuinely freaking loving this stream, man. It's great. I'm really freaking enjoying it. That's a great, uh, that's a great compliment that you've just given me right there. This is a freaking great challenge as well. I'm, I'm enjoying doing these, like, putting together different experiences. Like, it's a nice way to experience different maps in a specific order that you would never t traditionally play them in. Do you know, um, so, like, like, last week we played Moon, followed by Die Rise, followed by Buried, followed by DE. Like, who does that? That's such a random order, but that's what we did last week and it's freaking great. And now this is also good as well. Do I play for fun anymore? Do I play zombies for fun anymore? No, very rarely. That doesn't mean that I'm not having fun. I'm having a freaking, I'm having the best time ever, dude. Like, literally the time of my life playing right now. But no, I'm not, I don't, I don't like, finish a day of grinding zombies and going, oh, I'd love to play some zombies. No, not at all. It's all for streaming, but it doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying it. I'm in a freaking great time. If I wasn't streaming zombies full time, I would be playing zombies in my spare time for fun. 
but it's just that I don't want to get burnt out. I don't want to run out of my passion for something because I have to play it for work and play it for fun, you know? So, no, I do not play for fun anymore, even though I'm having fun while streaming, you know? It's good. And I'm enjoying playing the game. It's fun to play this map and play this game. It plays on this game. No, in terms of actual outside, no, not really. Come on. Come on. Whoop. There we go. In my spare time? Yeah, no. I do not. I feel like that gum is so broken, dude. Like, it literally does nothing out of the time. 2016 is carrying some experience to this day. It's kind of crazy, man. Like, my... If it weren't for Black Ops 3, like, would I still be making a living, like, right now playing zombies? I don't think so. I think Black Ops 3 has basically allowed me to... Even with the games after that, Black Ops 3 has done that. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? Like, genuinely wild. play anything you don't want of those people at least to rely on a game. I could play anything. In terms of skill, yes. In terms of viewership, yes. It would be something that takes a little bit of time to build up. I, I agree with that. But I also am someone who right now doesn't really have the option of, of having a few bad months to build that. There will be a time where I can do that, especially with zombies coming up to where we're getting brand new zombies. Um, I think when that hype of that game finishes, then I could probably justify having a few months of, of, of crappy income to build up a, 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 like a where I don't need to rely on zombies um, audience. Like I know that I could do it now, but it'd still be a it'd be a crappy few months in terms of pay, and I just can't do that right now. Especially with me trying to like buy a new house and stuff. I need to have the, the zombies income, the zombie money, the zombie bloods coming in. Um, so yeah, I think at some point I will be able to do that, but for right now, yeah, I'm definitely uh, a zombies only guy just for now. Apart from Twitch where we can do anything, right? But in terms of YouTube, yeah, absolutely. Wait until like the next trial game has died down a little bit and then yeah, 100% we can be like, let's do whatever we want for a bit. Feel about freckles and giving the world record in my name i mean dude he, the, he couldn't do it so he, he messaged me he was like look please i know you're the goat of zombies i know that you've been around the block for years now i know you used to get ridiculous amount of world records like, i just need a little bit of help here if you can just get me some gameplay if you could get the world record real quick and then just send me the footage i'd be really happy and i said you know what freckles i'll do that for you you have you have carried shadows enough now I, I'll, I'll take one for the team here i'll get the world record for you um, just don't show anyone that last bit of footage where, where I pause the screen and, uh, and you can see that it's actually me playing the game. He went, okay, okay, I got you, Pizza. You, you go ahead, you, you go ahead, Mr. Pizza, and you, 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 I'll use your footage, but I will not show that last bit where it shows that you're playing, and I'll take the credit and say, okay, you do that. Showed the footage, didn't he? Showed the footage, and now, now everyone knows that it was actually me who got the world record. But I tell you what, man, he's a good guy. He would have done it by himself anyway. And uh, I was just, I'm just taking one with the team, dude. Just taking one with the team. That's all it was. <laughs> Do I have a favorite and least favorite zombies? Favorite zombies, I you would have to kind of go Black Ops 3. Even though my favorite to play right now is by far Black Ops 1. I'm having a weird time with Black Ops 1, dude. I'm just really enjoying playing it. Uh, but Black Ops 3, you kind of have to go with with the amount of content. It's freaking incredible. And then I would probably go with um, my least favorite. Um, I mean, can I say Vanguard? Is that allowed? Am I allowed to say Vanguard Zombies? I mean, it is crappy, right? Am I allowed to say Vanguard Zombies? Uh, I 
I'm not allowed. If I'm if it has to be like Treyarch, but like real Treyarch only, then um, I'll probably go with out of the mainstream games. I'd probably go with Cold War, even though I I do like it a lot. It's just it lacks something. I think it just lacks a little bit more personality than we're used to get to from Treyarch, you know? We used to get a tiny bit more personality than Cold War gave, even though Cold War is a fantastic game. Like, it's probably the last incredible multiplayer that there was as well. The last ridiculously good multiplayer, the last really good zombies, I guess. Um, yeah, Cold War was great. They did a lot of things right with that game. I just think it lacks slight personality. And I think that's due to maybe the storytelling being slightly off, the fact that we had operators instead of a crew, the maps felt quite generic, but uh, I mean, it was built in lockdown inside of a pandemic, so I guess you can kind of understand the sort of stuff. But um, if, if, if we have a four year cycle game that we've got this year, four, four years worth of development cycle, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. Tre Treyarch seems to deliver a lot. They've never really steered us wrong. Even with, even with Cold War, it wasn't bad. So yeah. I said for full Easter egg here, 45 minutes would be acceptable, and I, I'm still standing by that. I still think I'm, I'd be very happy with 45 minutes though. For full Easter egg. We're talking full, full, full Easter egg here. Nice. Let's go and get the flag. We're good. Dude, apparently we're getting two real full zombie maps on the next game on launch, as well as a Modern Warfare Zombies game mode. That sounds incredible, right? I don't know if they'll release the Modern Warfare Zombies game mode day one, though. I reckon they'll they'll release it as uh, an, a, like an added thing a few months down the line. But two full zombie maps on release day would be wild. It depends if they both have full Easter eggs as well. If they do, I feel like they should be staggered. Staggered releases would be way better instead of just giving the community everything day one. That's why I think Black Ops 4 went slightly wrong. It would have been nice if Black Ops 4 was staggered. Do you agree with that? If we had like... Instead of four maps day one on Black Ops 4, if they went, right, you get this zombies map day one on Black Ops 4, then a week later you get another zombies map, then a week later you get another one, a week after that you get another one, a week after that you get another one, and then two months per map after that. That that would have sounded so much better. Or they could have just spread it across even more, like one day one, and then one month a new map, one month a new map, and every one month then you would get a new map, including that DLC season, right? That would have been really cool. They just gave us way too much on day one, I think. It was really hard to do content that day as well, just because there was too much going on. I didn't, we, no one knew, no content creator knew what they should do content, and it was kind of weird. It's like four maps, three main quests, as well as all the side strikes for all the maps. The fourth map had a a, a lot lengthy side quest as well. Like, I think it was it was nuts. It was it was it was too much to take in as a content creator. It was it was actually really rough and difficult to figure out what you wanted to do. A staggered release would have been nice. Hello, Qatar. Thank you very much for joining us, man. Appreciate you. Okay, two more flags, and then we have got uh, boss fight, and then train. We're on to train then, and then we've just got the final map of the day, which I'm hopeful that we'll be able to have a decent game of. Let that guy spawn. Got a raindrops ready as well. I'm sure the raindrops will flip around the moment that uh, I'm finished with this dead machine here and just cleared some of the zombies out. Sh 
should be good here. There we go, he's gone. Cool, I'm pretty certain this will flip around. That's probably fine, I'll zombie in it. It's probably fine, I'll zombie in it. He's just one. Oh no, there's a few left. That's definitely gonna flip though, right? No? Interesting. Can't be many left, is that fine? I don't know. No? Is that it? No. Can we do a rainy D's? There we go, let's go. I think he was right next to me. He respawned right next to me right there. So I was so dumb, dude. Okay, let's go. How do I have so many gobble gums? I mean, I had a lot of gobble gums on PS4 as well, but I spent like, in one year, I spent 3,000 plus on gobble gums, pounds, 3,000 pounds on gobble gums in one year. And then I think overall inside of stuff on, on that game, I probably, probably would have spent like, after all the years of stuff, I probably, I probably did get close to maybe like five to 6,000 on gobble gums. So I spent a lot on the PlayStation on gobble gums, but, um, it was all investment. I got all the money back anyway, which is great through through content that I did with them. But uh, but my PC account is fully hacked, yeah. So I get basically unlimited everything. But I have no shame in that after spending so much money on stuff on um, on PS4. This is the only flag that I fail on a lot. I tend to, uh... If, if I ever do this as third flag, which I've done right here, I tend to die a lot on third flag. Well, not die, die. I feel like I might do now that I've said it out loud. But I tend to just fail it, and it, used to bra it normally breaks a lot whenever I do this one. I don't get my timings right on the meatballs. Spawn points are way off. Oh, there we go. All good, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get our music back on. Actually, let's give it a sec. It always seems so quiet whenever the music stops. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, final flag. Then we're all done. Best Black Ops 3 Zombies mod. It depends what you're into, man. There's mods for everything. There's mods to give you 90 plus perks that do all different things. There's mods to give you all weapons from a different Call of Duty game. There's mods that makes you the, the characters from Grand Theft Auto. That you, it depends what you're into. Yeah, it's all subjective what you would say is the best mod. Like, one of my, the mod that I probably use the most nowadays is this mod that allows you to do all the, like, Shadows of Evil, Ascension, Shangri-La. All solo without having to have four players to do the Easter eggs. That, I mean, that's one of my favorite mods because it means I can do all that, you know? But I think it's subjective to what you're into and what you, what you like as a player. Right, final one, and then we're going to the boss fight, and then we're going to the train. Considering I'm rusty as balls, this hasn't been the worst game in the world. I have to do another round, you know, just to be able to get something to be able to finish the boss fight easily. Because I suck with the, uh, with the shotgun boss fight, so I like to use raindrops. But I've kind of forgot that we're on to the boss fight next, so I've kind of cycled past it. Alright, so you got one more to go. And it's yellow. Yeah, I'm going to have to do one more round. It's kind of annoying. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, I could go to the boss fight and try, but I suck so bad with it now. I think I'd prefer to do one more round, I guarantee it. Unless I can, actually, you know what, we're fine. 
We're fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to that area, kill the Mago, and see if the Mago gives me a death machine. I normally get pretty lucky with that death machine with the Mago. We good? We good? Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, let's go and place this down, and then uh, we'll see if we get lucky with the death machine from the Mago. Hell yeah, Christian, thank you very much for the 25-month membership renewal, dude, saying, how about completing a maps easter egg to get the next one early in a multi-map release? <sighs> I think people would complain that there would be a team way ahead of them on a different map. I think that would work. Uh, I don't know. That I like, I, look, as someone who's Good at zombies, I like the idea of that. But I can also see the ridiculous amount of complaints and see why it'd be bad for the average player. And the average person who doesn't get that much time to play video games. So, really bad, really, really good and interesting thing for someone who's great with zombies. But terrible idea for the general public, I guess. Alright, if we get a dead machine, I will start the boss fight. If not, then I will try to get a raindrops. Thank you very much for the 344 likes. If you haven't done already, please do smash the like button right now. 400 is our like goal today. I know you can get 400. The question is, can you get 500 before the end of the next map? 400 is what we need. Have what have we got? No. Nope. Okay. 400 is what I, what I set as the goal for the whole day. But 500 makes me happy. 500 is fine, but it doesn't make me happy. I know five, five 400 is like, eh, it's fine. 500 is like, hell yeah, dude, you did good today. GG, chat. GG. So that's what we're hoping for. Don't know how realistic that is. But I'm going to flip this around. Because, there we go. Let's go. Give me raindrops. You had Chipotle last week. I got to have, I, look, we don't really, we have Chipotle like two places in the whole of the UK. So I had Chipotle when I was in the US, because I haven't had it since I was last in the US. I like Chipotle a lot, but I, but they, you definitely can crap yourself off it, man. It's kind of similar to Taco Bell, right? Like, I genuinely crap my pants off, uh, my pants going up. You get the crap off, uh, Chipotle for sure. And there's the worm. Cool, dude. Let's get the worm inside here. Let's go and do the train. Are you ready? Where's the worm? There's the worm, baby. Okay, let's do this thing. Are you ready? All right, let me get this all set up how I normally do it. I think I've left the train in the right position anyway, so that's good. I'm pretty certain I've left the train in the correct position that I would normally do things. So first things first, I've got to go and kill a magua. Kill a Magua. But we need to kill one relatively soon. I, I, maybe you don't actually have to kill one. Maybe just blow the face up one. I don't know. Okay, you ready? Let's get rid of this dude. There we go. He's dead. And we're going to go inside of here real quick and activate all these trains. Right, we've got the train in the right position already. We're gonna shock that. I'm gonna show up to the other side. It'd be nice to know that I've got a category out there, uh, like this category, where I know that I get to actually do the full Shadows Easter eggs. Normally on everything else, I don't get to do the full egg. So this is, this is nice to know that I can do the entire thing on one of the runs that we do. All right, so we're gonna run over to the other one. Our last one real quick. And then we've got to do a really specific trick to be able to get this done correctly. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna shut that. We're gonna exit our beast mode. There you go. We're gonna go and dip all the way over to the side. 
So all those lines are doing that, which is great. All the train lines are doing what they need to do. I'm gonna go straight to the top over here. It's a really tough thing to do, dude. All right, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go three, two, one, go. Slide through. Yeah, we got through the doors, which is good. We run down here. We enter beast mode. We zoom past. The train's already got to the middle right now. We jump the railing after the train's gone through. We go one, two, and we go three. And that is done, my friends. Wait for the cutscene in three, two, one. Boom. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go, dude. 135. What did I say? I'd be happy with a 45-minute time. We got a 37-minute time for full completion. Hey, I'll tell you that. All day of the week, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Full completion, 37 minutes. Oh, we like to see that, my friends. Let's freaking go. Right, we've only got one more map to go. Then we are done. Hell yeah, dude. Right, we got Dead of the Night coming up right now. Dead of the Night. Whew, final map. I need the little boy's room. And, uh, oh yeah, this music's good. I need the little boy's room. And I need to load up the next game. If you haven't done already, I'm going to go. I'm going to have a whiz and get a drink. If you haven't done already, smash that like button. Spam inside of the chat right now as well. I'll be back in a second. Dude, all right, I think we're smashing this today. Got one map to go right now. Dead of the night. Oh my goodness, it's my weakest and least favorite map of the entire day today. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and see how we get on here, brother. I hope we get we do well. Fingers crossed, we smash this thing. Oh, if you haven't done already, get that like button being smashed right now. 366, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I think we're gonna we be lucky to get the four, won't we? <laughs> we gotta be lucky to get the 400, but let's see how it goes. Let's run this as administrator and make sure we've got everything working. I'm really hoping that this loads up correctly. If it doesn't, then rip me. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. You have to do everything just without the time limit. Yeah, so, like I said, it's really annoying with that solo egg, what I just had to do there, where it's just risky as balls. You've got to activate the train and really quickly slide through the train doors, and then and then you're able to go and activate and then do that. It's really, really annoying. That's my first fact of the day. Can't believe it. Today's been chill, man. Today's been freaking great. Is it a crimbo tree in the back? No, dude. How many times? Tell you what, new office. I will not be having a tree. 
Your requested a tree. You wanted codename plant to return. I was like, right, we're getting a tree. I'll get a cherry blossom tree. We get a tree. I get non zombie. No, no, Christmas tree. No, not a Christmas tree. It's a cherry blossom tree, dude. If it was a Christmas tree, it'd be green. Just because it's just because it's a tree and it has lights doesn't mean that it has to be a Christmas tree. Right? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Uh Megazor Classics. Megazor Classics. What are we gonna do here? What are we doing? Megazor Classics. We can do either. Megazor Classics. Do we just do Megas? Let's just do Megas, man. Let's have fun. We're having fun today, right? Let's have fun. Let's do Megas. I like teleporting. It's always good to teleport. Let's do Megas, dude. Um, shopping free. Raindrops. Perker. I don't even, even think we need shopping free, dude, because we can just use raindrops to get us out of here. Um, refreshment? We like refreshment, right? We like a bit of refreshment. We'll go with refreshment. We'll use megas. Let's, let's have some fun. Um, let's guarantee what we're going to get here as well, which is great. Time slip's always a, a beautiful one to have. I think they're all nice guarantees, uh, to be fair. Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's do this thing, man. I'm ready. This, will be, this is good. Nice should be the text, man. We love a little bit of Iron Maiden here. We love a little bit of Iron Maiden. Once again, if you did want one of these posters, I know there was some of y'all that couldn't make it to Friday's live stream. These signed World at War posters. I don't want to turn my light on because my eyes are hurting a little bit today, but I need to turn my light on my phone. There you go. The signed World at War posters. The original crew with all the wonder weapons and everything. Signed one of 100. We've got eight of these left. If you still want one, you can still get them. It's free worldwide shipping, 20 pounds, 26 dollars, 24 euros. If you want one, you can get one. We only have eight, and once they're gone, they're gone. But I just not, I've, I've seen a few people ask if they're still available, and I've seen a few people on Friday say that they missed them. So if you're here, you still want them, we have eight, and then that is it. Okay, so if you want it, feel free. Top link inside the description, just a normal donation link. You drop it 20 pounds, 26 dollars, 24 euros, you get it. Simple as that. You ready for this? Also, I should probably, let me pause. Let me get up our, um, let me get up our chaos thing and I can see exactly what digit we're gonna type in here. Let's see what number we've got here. Uh, I see you at the back. There's none at the bottom there. I see two really close to each other. Is there one around the side? Yeah, there is. That is number two. That is definitely number two. Cool. Nah, it's definitely number two. Yeah, it's number two. Okay, cool. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Jesus, man. I nearly died. I nearly died straight off the bat. That would not have been good. Okay, let's go. Number two. We'll just keep that in mind that it is number two that we need to do. Number two. We got Mule Kick as our first bonus perk. My god, that's not good. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. We do not have this one. Cool. No. Yeah, that. That's the right thing to do. Nope. He's not one on the floor. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're gonna do it. Let's go. Not there either. Where is this? There it is. Cool. Let's wait for the zombies and we're good. Ooh, I didn't get Luna. Good stuff. That's what we like to see. No Luna. How many left? Uh, what, the posters? I have eight of the posters left. If you're talking about how many maps, this is the final map of the day right now. Final map of the day, and a very solid celebrity run right here, actually. I'm kind of happy with this run. It's pretty decent. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got that. Okay, let's go make our way over to it. I don't mind flipping around right now, either. I recognize that item. Let's go see what happens. we got any parts of the shield somewhere near here? I can also grab this I one, the day would never come, but I fear it may be time to compose my letter. I do need the shield, so we should probably go and try and find it. Godfrey, I own you there now. it is, it's gone. 
Let's have a look in here. There we go. That's one. If Dead of the Night was on Block Ops 3 instead, I wonder if it hit different. I genuinely think this would have gone down as one of the best zombies maps uh, in a long, long time if it was on Block Ops 3. Yeah. It's still good, don't get me wrong, it's still a really, really sick zombies map, but I, I do think that if it was on Black Ops 3, it would have been classed as one of the best zombies maps ever. Because it is really good. It's like incredible, incredible map. Alright. But it definitely did not hit the same spot that I think they were aiming for. Buy another weapon so the folly isn't you okay. Ooh, no, that's a great shot. Will do. Will do, good sir. Will do, good sir. That's one. Is there another weapon down here? There is, my friend. Okay, mule kick weapon. There we go. Two. Two. Three. Four. Let's go. Okay, looking good. Now we've got the main clock. I won't flip any more rounds right now, we're just gonna have to stay steady on here. Could do the main club real quick. Just while we're here. Are we seriously meant to confine ourselves? Freaking great, man. Thank you very much for 372 likes! It's climbing slowly, but it's climbing surely. 28 more to go. Until we hit 400, which is 100 likes per map. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go. Up the stairs we go, ladies and gentlemen. Up the stairs we go. So many memories here. Dressing up. Oh, there is the ashes right there as well. Let's get four kills here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is that perfect? Let's go, dude. All right, let's go and get the stuff for the folly right now as well. We can also have a very quick look to see if I can get the final piece of the shield as well. Is it here? Nope. It means it's probably over here. Mm, nope. Oh, there you go. Cool. Is that all the parts? Yeah, all the parts of the shield we've got. We're going to get the acid real quick, then we're going to get the poops. See if we got the lockdown inside of here as well real quick. Uh, yep, it is indeed. Let's get this lockdown going on, and then we've just got to do that weird, burnt, dull thing, and then we're all done. Good, dude. Here is 2030. The new open world zombies game has come out, and Pizza is training 300 zombies in the middle of a football stadium for an Easter egg. 2030. Six years from now, jeez, I'll be 37. My God, it's disgustingly old. It's disgustingly old. That's my last round flip right there until uh, until we get into main, main, main quest. I'd say I own All right, green D, green D. Green D. Okay. Green D. Green D. Okay, green D. Keep that in mind that green is D. I'll just tidy up. Green is D. We're gonna go and do blue real quick right now as well, but green is D. And keep that for me, that'd be freaking great. Green D. You know, PayPal so you can use Super Chat to get a post it. No, unfortunately not. Do everything through PayPal because YouTube takes 33% of uh, Super Chats. So if you donate 20 pound, I actually wouldn't get 20 pounds. So it would it would be it cost more to print, package, and ship than um than I'd be getting with a 30% cost. So yeah. Well, it, it, it wouldn't cost, it would cost, it wouldn't, I, I wouldn't lose money, but I'd be pretty close to losing money. There you go, 
Let's go make our way out of here. We're gonna go and get the poop. Anything good? Yeah, that's enough. Let's go. Yeah, so Streamlabs, when PayPal happens, like, PayPal might take 5% of fees sometimes, or Streamlabs might take 5% of fees sometimes, so whenever you use a, whenever you donate to a streamer, as long as you use, like, the top link and it goes through Streamlabs or PayPal, you know that, it, you know that at the most, the streamer is going to get 95% of that donation. Uh, or oh, at the minimum, they're gonna get 95% of the donation, which is great, Every right? If you do super chat, like then it's like, the streamer gets 70, 70% or 66%, it's just a bit... Yeah, it's a lot of, it adds up to be a lot, you know? Obviously, without YouTube, there wouldn't be a platform, and you, know, you can kind of justify it by saying that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have a platform, and you wouldn't be popular and be able to do this as a job if it weren't for YouTube, so fair enough, but still a lot of money. Often at these crafting tables. We can use them to our advantage. I'm gonna do this while I've got a second hand. Oh, I need the folly do I? So I need to go and have a look at what blue actually is. I have no idea what red is either. I didn't want to look, but I can have a quick look. There's no harm in uh, wasting a bit of time here. We're doing really good. This is a nice start to the game. <clears throat> I actually, there's only one more spot that even is possible, I think. Wait, where, where the hell have I looked here? Is this blue? Oh, there you go. WX. Oh, WN. WN, blue, and green D. WX, blue, and green D. I actually have no idea where the final red is either, because I, 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 I feel like I've that looked everywhere that I even know. Yes. Oh, apart from in the back of this room, I'll have a very quick look just to see. If it's not there, then I feel like I've looked everywhere. No. Okay. I guess we'll uh, potentially be guessing red. I'll just have a very quick look up the stairs as well. See if red's in this back bedroom. Alright, there you go. A. A is red, green is D, blue is WM. And then finally we'll have a look inside of here real quick. Open this up and we're good. Ah, crap. I clicked the, uh, the wrong gobble gun. No big deal. It's fine. Let's have a look what yellow is. Yellow is A. Okay, cool. Let's go and uh, get ourselves the silver bullets on this weapon. Kill that guy when he spawns in. There you go. Let's have these in as well until this guy gets in. Let's go. Let's go. Werewolf, wherever he is. Wait for werewolf. There he is. You, there he goes. Let's pick that up. Right, let's get this all sorted. Save a zombie here, I guess. Uh, that was A, was it? And yellow was A as well. Perfect. Let's go, dude. Cool, let's interact with all of these. Let's do this. Ah, looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Your day got ruined by DHHS. What is that? I actually don't know what that is. What is it? What's DHHS? Genuinely never heard of it. Let me know what it is. I'm intrigued now. Well, there we 
go, what can we go? Alright, so plus five, plus six, minus five. Five and we're done. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Well, Looking good, dude. Let's go, boy. I'm the help and human services. Jesus. Why did they? Uh, why did they anger you? How come they've ruined your day? Kaboom! Ooh, baby! Tricks him! You gonna get the giggity poster? Well, I got you on this. Giggity, 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 Oh, I just saw it. I think it's 13. I think we're on 13 here. Okay, we're on uh, bull. Just put bull. I'll know what you mean. Or horns. Oh, horns. Oh, horns is 13. Just put horns. Just go back. Haven't hit 400 likes yet. Come on, chat. I know. Dude, I'm genuinely upset. <laughs> I get so hung up on likes, man. And I know that I should just be like, whatever. But it does mean... I I genuinely am gutted after every live stream we don't hit stuff. Oh, uh, right, so six, six, and horns. Six and horns. So six is three. Six is three, six is six, and six is nine. So horns is 13, and six is nine. Okay, I've only got one more to look for, and then we're done. I feel like chat's so slow today, I'm gonna have to do this myself. So I don't forget. Horn, 13, 6, not, is 9. There you go, let's go. Sorry, chat, I just offended you by saying you're so slow, but you are, you hella slow today. <laughs> I can't really do much about it. There you go, and H. H is 4. Isn't there supposed to be another one? H is seven. Are we just gonna assume it's seven? Is the other one not there? Yeah, he's still not there, right? Maybe I'm just gonna assume that H is seven. If I get this and it actually works, brilliant. And I think it goes from big to small, right? Let's go and see if this works. I'm hoping that's right. I think it goes big to small, so we're gonna find out. Playing very well. I'm happy with this. I, dude, wait, this is going great. What a great selection of maps, and what a great run that we've got going on right now. It's freaking great. Let's place this in here as well before I forget. Sweet. 
small to big. I typed in big to small and it worked. Can anyone explain that? I can't believe there was that many people saying small to big. And I typed in big to small and it worked. Didn't I? Or did I do small to big in my head? I don't know. Maybe I did do small to big. I mean, it was unintentionally wrong, but right. <laughs> That'd be so funny if I accidentally did it right. If I accidentally did it right, that's so funny. And there we go, there's all the bile. Did I make up this category? Yeah. I mean, anyone can make, every category's been made up. That's what I, I hate about the zombies community. I'm not saying you're doing this, but the zombies community is so close-minded about things compared to other gaming communities. Like, there's so many amazing gaming communities out there that, are, that you know, people just make categories all the time and then everyone runs with it. It's all hype and it's brilliant. Zombies community is weird, man. It's like, this is not an official category because this website says it's not. Once again, I'm not saying that's you. I'm just saying that it's the majority of the community are like that. It's really odd. I mean, nah, I, dude, coming up with different characters is great. It, it takes the monotonous feel of running the same thing over and over and over again to being like, when was the last time I got to play every Black Ops game, one map from each game, and have like a real distinctive thing that I'm playing it for? Like, that's so sick. Like, in today's live stream, we got to play Black Ops 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they're all relatively really well-perceived maps as well. Like, Call of the Dead has a huge fan base. Mob of the Dead has a huge fan base. Shadows of Evil is massively loved. And then Dead of the Night is arguably the best map on this game. I think it's arguably. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a good map. I don't know. I, I, I prefer 9, but I, I think this map's brilliant. What an atmosphere on this map as well, right? Incredible atmosphere you get on this map. So, yeah, no, this is a sick category, man. I'm loving it. Great. Freaking amazing. Oh, I'm dead. Crap. I think that's the last guy as well. Right? Yeah, we did. Almost died. Dude, I played really well. <laughs> it's quite good. There we go. Go on. First, first dig, right? First dig. Oh, you're beautiful! You're beautiful! First dig right there. Brilliant. Let's go, dude. Okay. Let's get out of here. Straight over this side we go. And up top we go as well. <laughs> it's been great, man. It's a great run. I know, right? Brilliant. Freaking brilliant run. Really good run so far. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the thing I put on the ground killed the red. I'm very certain the thing I put on the ground killed the red one. Oh, dude. I knew that was going to happen. There you go. We've got one more to do. And we're all good. That's all ready for us now. Perfect. Cool. So let's go and have a look down here real quick. We can probably do this real quick. Let's do that one. Is that another right one? Did I act? Oh, there you go. Two more to do here. Keep coming, I will smite you all. Three and one more. 
I think I remember you. Oh, oh yeah, Nick. Dude, I keep wanting to activate. I don't think I did it quick enough. Let me, I'll do it again in a bit. I, I, dude, I keep on going to activate raindrops, but keep on yeah, accidentally activating refreshment. That's the second time I've done it, and the second time I've not been able to complete a task so I don't have any ammo. So I, I just wanted to get rid of, like, a zombie with a nuke or something. Gonna have to wait for this dumbass cooldown that really shouldn't exist. It's a war- it, it, dude, it feels like it just takes forever, this cooldown. And I don't think there's anything I can do until it's cooled down, either. No big deal. We're all good. Come on, chat. 19 likes. Where are the likes? Why have we not hit 400 yet? What the hell is going on? Where are the likes at? You can do it. It's been a nice, relaxing, chill day with decent success. And the goal is nowhere near being done. But it can be done. Gave you an easy ass goal today as well. We didn't even strive for excellence. We just strive for basic stuff. You aren't basic people. You're incredible. For some reason, the basic stuff is impossible today for some reason. I guess we've sacrificed the likes for, uh, for a good gameplay day. Man, the cooldown is dumb on this. Like, it's insane how long it takes to cool down. There we go. We're back on. We're back on and I'm going to rainy these while we do this as well. Just to make this all way easier. We're gonna rainy D's right there. Just to get that nuke so I can very quickly do this. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Got in. Nice. There we go. Right, we're gonna dip out of here right now. I'm just gonna teleport. And that's everything done that we need to do. You got it. You basic? Ah, dude, I'm telling you. You all are way better than basic, man. I'm telling you. It's not even, not even a thing in your definition. You got this. One like away for 400 right now. You smashed it. See? See how easy that was? See how easy that you, you killed it, dude. You lived the dream. You allowed it to happen. You guys are freaking unreal. There we go. Look at that. Was that difficult? No. That's freaking easy. You smashed this thing. Okay. That's the only bad thing that's happened right there is that that took a little bit longer than it should have been. We're almost finished here. We're looking beautiful. Magical. Good time as well. Should be a sub three. Should even be maybe a sub two. Dude, it's going to be a sub two and a half hours, which is really respectful. Call it at 1627 though. It's a pretty good time if you wanted to redo it. That's not bad. Mob of the Dead was a bit iffy. Shadows is a bit iffy. This might be my new favorite category to run, you know. This is a freaking great category to run. What's your best time for Dead of the Night from Neil with a 199? Thank you very much for the first super chat in about two hours, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Um, My best time in this map? I actually have no idea. No idea. Honestly, I'd go as far as say this is probably going to be it. It's not a map that I traditionally run very often at all. And I normally run it as part of a super run whenever I do do times on it. Uh, and by that point, you know, I'm already three maps deep and not really... Uh, Getting, a, getting the best performance out of the situation. So I'd say probably it's a really crappy time. And, and this might be somewhere. I know it's a more traditionally easy linear map to learn as well. I just never learned how to do it fast. So I, if I had to learn a map soon to, to, to just change the way I play things and get better at, I, it might be this that I would pick. Just because I know it can be incredibly easy and fastly done. But yeah, I just never, I never learned that. Okay, I can do a couple of these steps now, actually. <laughs> Right, left, pool, right, left, pool, right, left, pool, right, left, and then pool. That one's done. I don't mind doing a bunch of these now on my way to do this next step. There you go. Wait for it. Thank you. 
we'll make our way through here, and then we'll uh, we'll do the next step when we go back in time or whatever. Or yeah, don't know what it is, but MDL, thank you very much for that one. Nah, nah. Appreciate you a lot, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Which gravestone's gonna make me have this weird effect? Oh, this one? No. Which one? Where, where is it? There we go. I'm in this weird ass mode. Let's go again. Let's go again. Dude, I remember last time we played this, this took me literally eight there we go. It took me so long to activate that and get that correct upgrade on there, it was crazy. Uh, now nah, this is a pretty sick step, I think. Not the best step, but I think it's pretty unique how you do that. Okay, let's go. Just been reborn. How sick is that? That's freaking cool, dude. I like it. Excuse me. Hello. Nice. Upstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, right? No, downstairs. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs, and that one's done. And then I've only got one more to go and do after that as well, but I need to go and find her as well while I'm inside of this moment. There you go. There's two. Got one more of those to do right now, and then we're looking good. We're doing good, Mom. Let's go and see if she's inside of the bedroom right now. It's weird, it looked like you could like see the actual thing of where she spawns in there. So she's not actually waiting there, it's when you get to that area and then she just runs this way. Let's take it down in, I've only got one more upgrade to go and then we're on to the next step. Which Easter egg do you think has the best end cutscene? De Blood of the Dead, th this is up there. This is one of my favorite end cutscenes in all of Zombies, you know. How odd is that? Oh, nice. Yeah, this is one of my, my favorite end cutscenes in all of Zombies. Really, really weird that, that is, uh, that's the case for me, isn't it? But yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's an incredible end cutscene. But Blood of the Dead, end cutscene's incredible. Uh, the Rise and Drop was pretty shocking at the time. Um, the Shadows was great. Because at the time, we didn't even know if Shadows was connected, right? Um, and then the cutscene happened, and we're like, holy crap, dude, that's sick. So, yeah, that was good. Okay, looking good, dude. Looking good. Sub 230 is definitely uh, looking likely. I don't know. I feel it. I'm feeling the sub 230 for all four months, which is great. A nice finish for today as well. Yeah, dude, the Bloody Night End cutscene is fantastic. Could go down as a brilliant masterpiece in gaming history, you know? I think so. There's not much better cutscenes in gaming history than that. That's up there. It's freaking great. I really like it. Anything that gets you emotional to that extent inside of a cutscene is freaking great. They've done their job correct, right? Opening cutscenes are some great opening cutscenes. So many great opening cutscenes. Um. Oh, there's so many good opening cutscenes. I think every, everyone really likes Gorod. I'm uh, Gorod's fine. I'm, I'm 
don't think it's brilliant. My back. Um, the best opening cutscene to a map is probably Origins. Yeah, it's it's probably Origins followed by. people like GK so much. Dude, Giant is good. Giant is really good. Yeah. Well, I think I think Origins is the best. shield thing to do and then we're finished. Right, let's go and get that shield thing done. I think it is the final gem that I've not done yet. Yeah, it is. Okay, final shield thing, then we're good. Shadows. What? Shadow, shadows? Shadows intro? Shadows intro is okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to grab a new shield. Actually, you know what? I'm just doing this. Can I not do it? My god. I would have assumed that refreshment would refresh the shield. Oh well. Mob's pretty good too. Yeah, mob's not bad. That's a good intro. Classified. Classified is goofy. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. The classified intro is funny. I remember seeing it for the first time when we were at Treyarch one trip. They showed it to us and we're like, dude, that is, that is definitely something. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a weird one. It is goofy, but it is good. I, I like the style of it. It's interesting for sure. Call of the Dead's intro. Call of the Dead's intro is good. Yeah, definitely up there. Top five, maybe. But who cares? Right, we're almost going to the boss fight, man. Sub 230 is looking strong on this one. Looking very, very strong on this one. Might be an early finish for today, chat. Might be a, a, a little bit of an earlier finish today. Typically finishing between five and half five, but it looks like uh, I might be finishing a tiny bit early, even if it's like ten minutes. Alright, let's go get the final gem real quick and then come back and get them all in place. I remember that Nikolai's last name was messed up, right? What did it say? I can't remember what it said, but yeah, that was weird. They had to correct Nikolai's last name in the intro cutscene. They spelled it wrong, didn't they? I remember that. That was so odd. I mean, I assume it's still on the one on YouTube as well from the day one release. Best Easter egg song ever? I, I love The Gift from Revelations. That song is an absolute banger. The Gift from Revelations. DE's song as well is really, really good. Um, and then Abracadabra from from Ascension is insane. Um, uh, they're probably the the top three songs in my opinion. One on five, obviously, but it's so overrated, but it's incredible still. And and then probably Beauty of Annihilation for the third one. So they, 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 that's what I'll pick for my top five. The gift. I can't remember what Bla uh, from, uh, from. I can't remember what Darius and Drax is called. Though. It's not dead ended. That's Gorod Crowley in it. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Dead again? Is it called dead again? I think it might be called dead again. But yeah, I'd go. I'd go DE's. Well, I'd say the gift from Revelations. Then DE's. I think it's dead again. That and then Abracadabra. Then 
Beauty of Annihilation, and then 115 as the top as the top five Easter egg songs in Zombies. I think that's a fair list. What do, what do you guys think? There's definitely some incredible songs that I haven't put on there as well, but I think that's a, a pretty pretty solid list. Where we are going is from is from Bob. Or Blood. Two different versions of the same song. Shepherd of Fire, yeah. I've tried to stick with like Treyarch's own songs there and not mix in any uh Avenged Them for. I chose you well. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I, dude, I like Paradolia. It's, it's, but it's just just shy of that list, I think. Please grant me the firepower to survive this night. You're only forestalling the inevitable. I really shouldn't enjoy this as much as I am. Don't nice next. He's dumb. I almost feel sorry for that one. Up next. Dude, dead flowers? Yeah, from Zed's boat. Not my favorite. It's fine. I just don't think it makes the top five. I don't know if it even makes the top ten, to be fair. It's pretty good, but not the best. I don't know whether I just save this guy until I uh, finished all these, just so I can instantly get off this stuff. There's loads of zombies with him. That's done. Next up. Let's finish the kills on this guy. Okay, let's go. Not a fan of dead flies. I'm not a massive fan of dead flies. It's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. 115, I think, is the fifth on the list. Where are we going? Uh, it's a it, it gives a good vibe to the map that you're that you're playing, but it's not exactly. It's not a it's not a club banger, is it really? It's not a club banger. Okay, almost done here. It's done. I think we're all done. Oh no. We had him. Okay, let's get the werewolf in, then we're on the lockdown, and then we're in the boss fight, and then we are done. How was the weekend? Weekend was pretty good, man. Kind of had a bit of a chilled one, you know, because we're, we just got back on vacation. So Friday, dude, just finished the live stream, just did the post to sale. I was ready for a pizza to start the weekend. Uh, Nova was at, was at uh, her, her parents' house for a little little shindig that her parents were doing. Um, so I stayed home with the kids, and uh, I put the kids to bed, and then had a um, a cheeky pizza. It was great, and then um, and then went to bed. Pretty chilled one on Friday, and then Saturday we went and viewed this house that we were looking at. And the second viewing, we thought oh, that was pretty good, and then left there, and then. Um, I watched uh, the first football of the day. I watched the United game at three o'clock uh, with my father-in-law, who supports United. Clearly rooting for Fulham and uh, Fulham won, which is great. And then, uh, and then I, I went back home to my own house and watched the the half-five kickoff with City, where we just just scraped a three-pointer at Bournemouth, which is great as well. So I had a good time there. And then me and my wife had some Indian food for dinner, which is fantastic. And then my Sunday yesterday, just pretty much chilled all day and um, took baby pizza for a little walk. Um, yeah, it was 
And, and then I watched the Carabao Cup fight. Yeah, you know, pretty chilled out. What are you getting, man? It's good. Pretty chilled out. We are almost done with the day, by the way. Like, we're this close to finishing. So if you haven't done already, please do smash that like button. I said to make me a happy mum would be 500. That's not happening. It ain't going to happen. 400 is 409 is more than 400, so that's pretty good. But keep on raising the bar. The more you can do, the better. And also, the fact that we're about to go to the boss fight means we're about five minutes away from finishing the live stream. I will have, like, a, a quick talk, talk at the end of it, just having a little chat after we finish the live stream. But... Top donor for the day, the clean one. Been top since like the first 10 minutes in a live stream. That means that you are definitely going to be receiving our perk card of the day. There we go. I'm going to sign that and get it shipped out to you, good sir. So make sure we have your shipping address. We'll get that sent out to you super, 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 super soon. And I appreciate you all a lot, man. I'll make sure that that's signed, uh, that card is signed and off with you. Hey, sir, my friend. Thank you very, very, very much for being top donor today. And Mr. Clean One. Appreciate you. Now that we're back home and we're all uh, we're all chilled again, top donor cards are back. We'll get all these sorted and uh, shipped as soon as possible, bro. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, let's go. Are you talking to me? Mm, get out of here. Let's go to the boss fight, man. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who, <sighs> baby? Yeah, we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Thank you very much for the 413, I appreciate it. Oh, boss fight time. Dude, if I can just finish this boss fight, we've had a successful day where we can update our uh, our list of PBs, which is good. Time, a voice in my head told me I was irredeemable, like you, as if that makes us well, That's now green. Let's get this green. There we go, fully green right now. Huge. Go on. Go on, it might be a, another round of... Oh, we got it. Nice, GG. GG's. I think we got it, did we? We did get it. GG's, man. Right, there's that. I'm not going to grab the max yet. We're all good. Level 1 hammer. Too good to hear. I don't need it, man. We're all good. I don't use the hammer in this boss fight either. Let's play for this guy spawning. We're gonna get a red dude spawning. I hate the Nesferatu, dude. They're the worst part about them, not. More than life. There we go. I see him. He's about to jump down in a second. There he is. And he's dead. I think we got one more, right? Another one in a second. Dude, I'm so happy we got to finally finish celebrity maps. My god, it's been a nice day, you know. Apart from like the resets of uh Call of the Dead, everything's been relatively good today. We've got two of these werewolves coming actually. Yeah, max you while we can. Honky doke. Looking good. Looking good. We got to finish, man. What a good it's been good. I gotta admit, today has been a nice live stream with a really good atmosphere, man. Like the atmosphere has been freaking sick inside of here today. I don't know about you guys. We, this doesn't happen every single stream where we get this kind of it's like I don't know, it's just like everyone seems like a really in a good mood, and it's a Monday, which makes no sense. Go. 
Looking good. Another round? I think we might have to do another round. Yeah, one more round here. They didn't manage to get it all in one sitting, which is fine. There we go. And I think the health maintains, right? So we should be done now. In like a second. There we go. All done. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's wait for the cutscene to start. And that's the end of the, uh, the, the challenge today. Huge. Huge. Sub 230. Boom. Thank you very, very much. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. That's freaking great. Celebrity maps. Done. Let's pause this. I love this cutscene, man. I think it's one of the best cutscenes ever in Zombies, you know? One of the best outro cutscenes as well. Have a watch of this. Now, where's the bar? Let's go the GG's inside the chat. We'll watch this intro. We'll, we'll watch the outro cutscene and then uh, Did you see and we'll have a look what, we, what we're doing. I freaking love this cutscene. That was great. That was really, really good. Great day, dude. Great day of gameplay. Hell yeah. <gasps> what now? What the hell does this mean? It means you are not worthy. Witch! Ragged. Am I going to Twitch? No. I need, to, I need to go to the uh, post office. The guy at the post office uh, does all the posts for me. So I, all, all, I, 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 I took him a hundred posters to send off. Sure do all, all, all air mail for and everything. Journey. And he does them all and then I go and pay him after they're all done. Instead of me waiting around. <laughs> so I need to go to the post office and give this guy like 500 pounds or something stupid for postage. <laughs> The bit of this cutscene that I love is, the, is at the what end. Have you done to Alistair Rhodes? All the graphics mess up and everything, but I you love the end where you're like in a car and stuff. I think it looks sick. You cannot stop what is to come. Where is my father? Godfrey, talk to me! Ugh! Damn it! See, this is this is really good. I remember when I when I went in theatre mode and saw this and how it's made. It's so freaking good. Dude. It's a, it's a good cutscene, man. It's a great cutscene. It's a shame yeah. we didn't have this on release. My dearest Scarlet, if I have already fallen prey to the Order, these are the only people I trust to help you stop them. It's so annoying that we didn't have this as the first map of this okay, game. Dad. Just because it wasn't ready. Let's see what these friends But it was the first map in the story and we didn't get it. It's so weird that that wasn't the case. If that would have been the first map we played, we would have been like, whoa, that's sick. That's so cool. Right, chat. Absolutely smashed it. Let's have a look. We're ready. Are we having an update here, chat? Let's do this thing. Celebrity maps. Three, two, one. Boom! February 26, 2024. Let's go, dude. New little PB right there. Not crazy by any means, but uh, it was pretty nice. I'm happy about that. That's a huge dub. P no. Just took a trip that cost sixty dollars, but eight hours of driving. You took a trip that cost sixty dollars, but eight hours of driving. Six, eight hours of driving. Eight hours of driving for sixty dollars. 
What 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 is that? That's like a. Is that because of like electric car? Maybe I don't know. Is this a week of new times? I don't want to put the pressure on me. I, I think today I basically just like um. It's been really nice. It's been mellow and great and really really fun. It's freaking good. So no, I was happy. That's that's a great time and like call it pretty good. Mops fine. Shadow. But it's just nice to get a solid run without dying and just having fun, right? So uh, yeah, I I actually haven't picked anything else that I'm doing this week, even though we're gonna be streaming every day. So I don't know what I want to throw out there. What do I want to do for the rest of the week with, in terms of um, challenges and stuff? There's a lot on there that we can do. I, I just don't know which one I want to do next. There is so much that I need to fill in. There's a lot of blanks on the right hand side that I need to fill in as well. There's a there's a lot, dude. But um, that was good. Went to a different state and back. No electric car. Weird. You just got on a train or something? I, mean, I, I don't know. That's, men that's mental. That's genuinely crazy. Um, hell yeah, dude. Let's freaking go. Once again, if you haven't done already, smash that like button. I'd massively, massively appreciate it. I'm gonna go to the post office and I'm gonna go in Outbreak. Outbreak kind of sounds a bit gross, you know. I'm kind of down for it at some point this week. I don't know what to do tonight. We could do Outbreak tomorrow. Tomorrow is a 12-5 again. Or maybe just slightly less, like a half 12-5. Um, I don't know. On my actual calendar of things that I was supposed to do, today was supposed to be IW. Tomorrow was supposed to be Origins 100%, which we already did last week. And then EXO was on Wednesday and Cold War on Thursday. It all just sounds really gross. <laughs> uh, but I've not stuck to any of that. Captain Bass, thank you very much for the 22-month membership renewal. And then Peter, my dude! Great to see your face all the time again. Gotta stop my membership soon on here as times are hard. Let me pizza. No worries, dude. I appreciate your 22 month membership uh, a lot, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. And don't worry at all. We had a very, very similar message last week as well. So I guess a lot of people are, are going through that at the minute. But don't worry, dude. We're all good. And uh, we'll be waiting for you uh, whenever, whenever, whenever you're ready to start things up again. Huh? But there you go. Thank you very, very much. You can't stand it outright, but you'll watch, watch me play anyway. Well. Dude, we need to do it eventually. I don't know. I want to do something fun though. We'll see. Anyway, today's vibe has been freaking great. So thank you very, very much. I love you all a lot. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you haven't done before you go as well. And two hours, 20, 20 minutes. Pretty good. Happy with that. Hell yeah, dude. I know we're going to we're gonna do a high round game this week as well. I just don't know what day we're doing that. Potentially tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, I love you all. Have an amazing evening. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. Good night. I love y'all. Peace out. <laughs>